Okay, I'll just start it now. Uh, Welcome to LZS Life. <laughs> what the fuck was <laughs> that? I was just gonna do that again, that was just too much. No, 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 keep going. Don't fucking, Welcome. we don't retake on this shit. Well, you, you get what you're no. given. That was, that was the intro then, I guess. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. Well, a few days ago, there was the uh, Golden Joystick Awards, but nobody really <laughs> pays attention to that. That's basically, um, well, PC Gamer Wankfest, if I can call it that. It is, it is. I mean, they are just, talking it's about just joysticks. a wank orgy for oh. PC gamers. That's what it is. Right? They're right. uh, wiggling their joysticks. Are you wiggling okay. your joystick right now for oh, fucking yes, Geoff Keoli? I'm pre- G- yeah. Geoff. I mean, <laughs> Geoff. We have I'm to say Geoff like, off. <laughs> it's Geoff season again, chat. <laughs> no, it's right. I mean, we have to say, he, I mean, he did the only out. decent job at E3 last year, didn't Very he? So, fair I mean, point. Very fair. That's point. a fair point. Like, you mean I mean, last year or this year? Let's just give game announcements to him. I mean, while we're at it, like In two fairness, times a year. Okay, right. <laughs> this time last year, I was complaining about Jeff Keoff. <laughs> I refuse to say his name right. <laughs> um, I was complaining about him, and now here I am, 12 months later. I'm going to throw my hands up, chaps. Don't you mean he's, Geely he's Keely? Not... <laughs> Ugh. Sounds like a man who doesn't know how to touch anyone else. Or even himself, to what? be honest. <laughs> even though even though he does have that like energy of like the father that comes in when you're video gaming are you winning son it's like, <laughs> he, he get, does have yeah. that like energy like, he, the does. Time. he does of, like so, sitting like, down next to you and having him explain the game to him and like <laughs> it's like and dad please leave my friends can hear you <laughs> but he's not the parent that shouts up to you dinner's ready and you're like i can't pause the game and they're like well just kill yourself or something like that they don't understand that online <laughs> games can't be paused I feel like if Jeff has a yeah. bad day, he'll pull the internet connection. Oh, <laughs> uh, you think that's his worst parental guy? He just pulled like, the plug. Son, you're coming down for dinner right now. We have Hideo Kojima over and we want to make a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, Again? the kid's playing Death Stranding. Again, Dad? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dad, why does he have to live in our basement? Or my room? <laughs> that was just... Now I just imagine that, like, the fucking goal, whole of Kojima Productions is just in the basement. <laughs> there's just, like, a few people. <laughs> and there's, like... That's why like, they only came up with the vague idea of Walking Simulator 2020. That's right, I fucking said it! Again. Uh, yeah. Well... Spicy. That was 2020. Just joined that, us. Game's, <laughs> that game's not here for uh, this, this, uh, Thank this God. lineup of games that... Um, are going to receive um, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, some the congratulations and an applause, I suppose. Well, um, but we do have like a lineup of different games. Well, Brad, what are we here for? You haven't even said what we're here for. What are we here for? Well, we are here. What are any of us here for? Because oh, no. we got derailed so badly. Um, <laughs> we're here for uh, the Video Game Awards. Yet again. Yay! There aren't that many episodes of this podcast, but most of them are dedicated to the Video Game Awards. <laughs> We are all very, very, very excited about Jeff Keighley. Once no, again. No, not Jeff. Keoff Knife. <laughs> it's it's, it's Geely Keighley. Uh, how many different ways are we going to say the name of You have no idea. Right. Hold on, if I just see it written he's, down, I bet um, I can come up with five more. He's like that. Okay, wait, what's that actor called again? Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Like, <laughs> he's, he's the new Benedict, right? He's the yeah, Doctor yeah, Strange of video game. Yeah, exactly. He's exactly. Sherlocking it up all over the place. Um, oh, God, he's Canadian. What's wrong with the He's a man of many world? names, and all of which... How, are what does Canadian that Canadian have to do with anything? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... I Julie guess, Keely uh, sounds like a Canadian name they would come up with in home at your mother. And then he still says sorry. <laughs> story. I, I would have to say for the people among us who are very observant and who are not watching this late, uh, the Gaming Awards haven't passed yet, so these are our predictions and our hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh, I no, I don't have any hopes and regarding dreams. Regarding future from... video games. I don't have and hopes and dreams. I have desires and um, disappointments. Different topic, Griff, different topic. Sorry, sorry, that's called E3. Sorry, it's my bad, my bad. <laughs> Your desire is predict- E3? <laughs> 
No, I no. Think we also try to predict the winners. I mean, that's also something we try that to do. That is also fun. It's fun. We don't put money down. It, we basically sit here, talk for two hours about what we want to win, and then we go away and do something else. Yeah, and then we're like, we oh, yeah, this is going to win. I like this. A lot of people like this. And then we're like, yeah, but it's not the people who really vote on it all that much. It's yeah. m- it's majorly like a, a IGN on those wankers. And it's like, oh, yeah. well, then I guess we'll go for this. Instead. Maybe this time we should cast two votes. Oh. <gasps> I do have a different VPM at my work, so highly. No, I no 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 not as casting two votes on the website, which I'll get to in a second. But in casting our personal vote and then the one that will probably win, not like those cheaters like Griff. I guess hey, what's happened to me? Weird, weird. You must be new here. We kind of did that every year. Of course we do. What do you, what do you mean I'm new here? I'm one of the fucking OG. That's what I mean. I mean, why the fuck do you even come up with something that we actually do? Because I, every year after the Game Awards, I wipe my internal hard drive and get it ready for your feed. It's basically like loading a virus onto my personal brain. Personal brain. See there where it's already started. Personal brain. <laughs> your personal brain. So where's you the one you fucking hire? Brain as well? it's, it's like I, I outsource my left brain. <laughs> Oh, so your life is basically the Bo Burnham song of left brain, right brain. Yeah, and you're the left port. <laughs> I love pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 uh, that's the quote. There. Oh no, left brain's the smart one. Oh wow, I really am the right brain. I... Jeez Louise. <laughs> Griff is definitely the one that loves pussy the most out of us. <laughs> that's the yeah, right brain. Abs- um... uh, well, um, I guess I guess we've. Uh, the rail I mean, exhausted all, all preludes of the conversation. Let's just. I, I think we talked about literally everything apart from the game awards, <laughs> so I think we're done, and we can finally talk about the game awards. I mean, sounds like yeah, a plan. See you next right? week. Oh, see you next week. Oh, yes, game yeah, every episode. Every episode is just the next category. This is just the prologue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before we get to categories, there's something we need to say. We are not going over the esports category. No, so if you like or creators like, category everyone. because we could give less we couldn't give less of a fuck. If you yeah, like if esports, you, there's always like therapy. To skip to category twenty five, please. Please skip the first five categories. I mean like, basically, yeah. I mean there's always therapy. I'm failing that. <laughs> you said that you made that very joke last year. I swear and, to Well, God. it still applies. <laughs> and obviously, so people don't have to listen to the entirety of the podcast, we always start with Game of the Year. No, that's not true. We, definitely, <laughs> we don't do that. That's the last thing. You've got to have to stick around for our bullshit to find well, out. Well, the website's uh, the Game of the Year. year. is going to be what we think. Uh, right. Oh, you at the beginning. Win. Click next category and go all the way to most anticipated game because that's our first category. Wait, Most why is Paul up? He's clicking nominees. I mean, because, to this for game, me, it started with Game of the Year. Category 25. Kaku, hmm. Kaku, 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 is already Kaku, 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 did you, see, did you say the first Space. Cadbury? Are you eating a Cadbury like cream <laughs> egg every time there's a new category? Stop, you two are making me giggle so much, I'm not going to get any fucking words out. Um, right, so last year, Weird announced the categories in the, in the uh, game titles. I think you should continue that tradition this year. So, Weird, if you'd like oh to... Oh, God, you're, a, you're actually making me do work here? It's like... <laughs> Fuck yeah, I don't get paid to do your work. <laughs> um, I, mean, I never fun. pay you, to, to be fair. Um, exactly! Okay. All right, this time, let's start with most anticipated game of the year 2021. Brought to you by Jeffrey Kiwi Wheelie. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey Kiwi? <laughs> Jeff Kiwi. <laughs> That's a good, good... I like Jeff Kiwi. Jeff, like Kiwi. Jeff Kiwi. It's like it's like the like the bird or like the, the fruit? What are we talking about? I always about? think of the fruit, but I forgot about the bird. Or like New Zealand? So they didn't <laughs> Just all of New Zealand. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, oh Jeff, Jeff Keighley has just assimilated all of New Zealand into his personal hive mind. Um, anyway, most anticipated game, and this year the Game Awards has nominated Elden Ring from From Software, um, mm-hmm. God of War Ragnarok by Santa Monica Studios, Horizon mm-hmm. Forbidden West by Guerrilla Games, um, the mm-hmm. sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with a yet unannounced title by Nintendo, and <laughs> Starfield by Bethesda Game Studios. About the cat who doesn't like who likes lasagna and doesn't like Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, 
Why do I always have to make that stupid joke about the game? I don't know. You've become a bit of a Garfield obsessed human recently. Um, I feel like I missed some context. How did we okay, get to Garfield? I would, I, I would almost certainly bet I can guess what you two voted for in this category. What what did we vote for, huh? You, bo- you both voted for God of War. Mm. See, let me let me tell question. you a little story. Uh, what, am I right? Uh, tell me I'm right first. Well, I wish I fucking knew. Because the website didn't store my vote. <laughs> so, I don't remember. So Okay, re- recap. Weird. Would you like to vote for God of War Ragnarok? Um, actually, I think I might have uh, voted for Horizon Forbidden West. Just uh, really? shout out to my pals at uh, Guerrilla Games. I basically drove Ooh. past their studio every single day for a year. I kind of felt the connection. And he's, to be fair, he's got a kindred spirit. <laughs> Uh, and to be fair, I've actually, looking back at it, I think I liked Horizon um, uh, Zozy Dozy or whatever it was called a little bit more <laughs> than I liked the original God of War. Both what? excellent Wait, games. God of War is in God of War 2000 and whenever it came out. God of War. God of War. You prefer? <laughs> That's spicy. I thought you, like, God of War was like, fuck yeah, it's God to, ironically God to. It, I, um... I thought there was a little bit more to do in Horizon Forbidden, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. That's the one, uh, mm-hmm. which still sounds like they threw, you know, fridge magnets at a wall and saw what's done. Um, <laughs> I feel like this time it might be the other way around. With God of War Ragnarok being a lot more expensive, a lot of thing was cut off in the original God of War. This time mm-hmm. they might, you know, turn the tides. It was a close encounter anyway. Anyway, those two would be my my guesses anyway of. Who I'd like for to win, but let's be fair, it's going to be fucking Elden Ring. Yeah. Do you think? I think yes. it's good. Well, I, hold on. So, uh, well, mm. um, did I guess right for Bram? Yeah, I mean, Fuck I voted yes. for for God of War. Yeah. So Even though it's I... very, very close, it's like uh, I don't know. It's like almost like an armpit hair shaving. Basically, that's the difference between like. <laughs> wow. Like my Ironically, in the picture, Link is sticking out his arms like he's about to armpit shave. That's true. I mean, does Link even need to shave? I don't think he grows any hair down there between his... How old is Link? Uh, In Um, Breath of the Wild, he's over 100. (laughs) (laughs) He should have armpit hair. No, he just... Like, Link is just such such a twink that he doesn't even grow any hair. Like, on his body. I mean, he, he, he like, woke up in, like, a pool at the beginning of Breath of the Wild. Maybe that was just acid. (laughs) <laughs> but only acid for armpit hair because yeah. he still has a head of hair, so it must be specific for armpit hair. Specific for no, no, that's a wake. That's like uh... oh, wait, he has no body hair. You're telling me he has nothing on his hoo ha area? No. Oh no, that would it's be itchy. I mean, it's yeah, area. Uh-huh. No, he doesn't even have stubble, so it's not itchy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Am... What, is... what the fuck is this conversation? <laughs> okay, uh... um, my was a uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, what do you guys think will win? I genuinely think it would be God of War. I actually think no. it would be. Mm-mm. I I don't know because like when you look at like stupid bullshit like the golden joysticks, uh, apparently like greatest game of all time was like um, Dark Souls somehow. It's like what? <laughs> really? Well, There's so many games. Like that, just... Greatest game of all time is fucking Dark Souls. <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck is this shit? Interesting. So, yeah. If, given that tidbit of information, like maybe, I, I think the audience may be a bit different different for the golden joysticks than it would be for uh, video game awards. Like there's, I guess there's, like I said, like the golden joysticks is, feels more like a PC Master Race wank fast. So I think it's more like, oh, PC gamers and that type of shit. But I feel like the video game awards could be more mixed. You have way more opinions on the Golden Stick, Stick Awards. Stick? What's Golden Stick, Stick Awards? <laughs> God, just, oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. <laughs> you know, I briefly read an article. That's basically why I have an opinion. Oh. <laughs> it's not... It's, Bram it's not learned that I, to read. I learned to read letters. <laughs> um, okay, dokie. Well, that's the most anticipated game. Let's go to the next category. Wait, if you'd like to do the honors, please. Well, By first way, of all, tell me in which direction I have to go, because we're now at category 25 out of 30. Uh, go previous category. Previous category, yes. all right. Apparently, we are reverse engineering it. All right, yeah. let's... Uh, this yeah, is actually more up my alley. Here. Who does that? I don't I mean, know the game awards, apparently. 
Keely Geely. <laughs> um, I feel I feel like the guy who has a collection of toenail clippings at his home would probably start with that. What Keof Kalini? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say his name right this entire fucking episode. I refuse. I refuse. Oh my god. Everyone's going to be so confused. It's, I mean, everyone. No, yeah, people are going to be like, is Griff about? having a stroke? No, no, no. I just I just dislike a man so much I refuse to pronounce his name right. Wait, wait you dislike oh. people exercises? <laughs> I guess also, uh, for this category, we have a guest joining us, apparently. <laughs> you need to hit record as soon as possible, Mr. <laughs> guest. <laughs> he's a mystery guest who remains oh silent. Oh my god, he's until... such a mystery. So, oh my god. <laughs> for elusive. girls, you're wondering. As elusive as Kanaili Geoff. <laughs> yeah, we actually have Jeff Keighley joining us for this podcast. I don't know who Jeff Keighley is. I only know... I only know... <laughs> Off tonight. That, that was not convincing at all. So <laughs> oh dear lord. Anyway, uh, here we have Connor, who is joining us a little late, but he'll also be commenting on his. What the video. hell were you? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I want, I want at the end like credits rolling with all the names of Jeff Keeler we came up with in the background. <laughs> I'm not going through that. Jesus. Oh, uh, bam! I'll take editing duties. <laughs> It's like, produced by Jeff Keighley, produced by Jeff Keagle. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Keagle! I like Jeff Keagle. Anyway, okay. um... I understood Keyhole. Like, excuse me, what? <laughs> a Keyhole? What? <laughs> Jeff Keyhole. Uh, anyway, we got... What go kind on, of got kingdom got hearts really bullshit is it? ...to keep going. Anyway, um, so shall we continue with uh, the next, the previous category? You only missed uh, most anticipated. Connor, yeah. you're recording? Uh, yours is probably uh, Link Breath to Wilds. <laughs> Link Breath, <Link's laughs> Breath to Wilds? I refuse to just speak. Is that going to be the title the of the game? Link's Breath to Wilds? <laughs> like you should take an arrow. <laughs> 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 uh, I feel like I've seen that video. Uh, the, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about oh. to say he ate too, many, too much garlic. But okay. Oh, too much garlic. Okay, also I'm recording now. Oh, oh good. Oh, God. <laughs> Here's, uh, we, have a, we have a guest joining us. Here's uh, Jeff Keighley, the one and No, only. yes, it's Jeff Keighley. No, it's oh, Go okay. Off. Hello, Jeff. It's uh, Go hello, Off it's, Lie. He- hello, Go Off uh, Kalo. K- K- it's Go Off King. Oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> best the off King, the Conqueror. Game. <laughs> <laughs> the butt. Best, best butt game. <laughs> right, we're talking about the category Best Debut Indie Game. Uh, for the best the debut game created by a new independent studio. And this year's nominees, we have uh, The Artful Escape by uh, Beethoven and Dinosaur, published by Annapurna Interactive. Uh, the Forgotten City uh, by Modern Storyteller and Dear Villagers. I, I don't know, what's the next one pronounced? Kina or Kena? I've been saying Kenna. <laughs> Kenna. That's even another one. <laughs> yeah, I've always uh, heard Kenna. The, well, the next one is by Amber Lab. It's Connor Bridge of Spirit. Uh, Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> weird, weird. You're mispronouncing it. It's got it's Keely. Oh, <laughs> Keely Bridge of Spirit. Geo like, Bridge of Keely. Uh, Geo <laughs> Death Stranding Bridge of Spirit by Ember Lab. Um, then we have Sable by uh, Shadbrooks and uh, Raffery. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Raffery. Valheim by Iron Gate Studios and Coffee Stain. Uh, a lot of hmm. really, really. Below the radar titles, aside for yeah. uh, Jeff Keighley, Bridge of Spirit. <laughs> yeah, well, that is true. Also, Sable has been in the works since like four years. I think I voted for like uh, Kenna because I didn't have time yet to play the Artful Escape because I do have that, but I haven't played it yet. So, I mean, I can't really judge it. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't finished any of these games either. I believe I voted for the Artful Escape. Um, mostly because, uh, well, I didn't get to that section yet. I believe there is a section where you are playing guitar riffs against tentacle aliens, oh, and I don't believe wow. b- believe Bridge of Bridge of Spirit can deliver on that. And, uh, no, hmm. no, it cannot. As the only game I played on this list, it definitely cannot. Hmm. Um, 
But uh, I I voted for Kenna, Kina, Kinoli, Geoff. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because uh, it's the only one I've played, and I refuse to play the Artful Escape because the character egotistically looks exactly like me. To be fair, I'm actually like disturbed. <laughs> he does very much so. Yes. His hair looks like my hair right now. I'm growing my hair. That's what I look like. Uh, Griff, if you were to put on like those German scientist Nazi, Nazi goggles, I have like, that adventure. coat. All I need is my fucking glasses. That's me. <laughs> Sorry, Griff's Griff's gonna do a. a I have an identity for, like... crisis when it comes to that game. <laughs> Like when it comes to Gamescom, Griff's just gonna do a cosplay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I voted for Kenna. Um, I mean, let's be fair. I voted for Kenna as well. It's probably nice. going to be the one that wins. Yeah, probably. You see, I think I think Valheim has a chance because Valheim did get pretty popular. It did, but then it fizzled out. Yeah, because it was a broken piece of shit. Oh, was it? I thought it worked. <laughs> I mean, will it win then? <laughs> Wait, is Valheim the Amazon game? The Amazon? No 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 no, 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 no. Also, I wouldn't call Amazon an indie studio. <laughs> no, Valheim is the is the is the um. It was an early. Act. It's the Viking one. That doesn't, that that could still be the Amazon one. No, because are you talking about New World? Fantasy. Oh the, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, Valheim's the one with the building stuff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Got there in the, the end. I, I I think Valheim is probably more popular than Kenner. Oh really? Could be. I think Kenner will win it though. Me too. I don't know what people. I I I hope Kenner wins because that's the one I bet for. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, I saw somebody, I saw people play Valheim, and I thought they were playing a fucking what was it called back in from back in the day, a fucking game, the, the, the online game that people played. RuneScape. Uh, yeah, League I thought they Russians. were literally playing RuneScape. Yeah, that's it. I'm so impressed that I managed to go know where Bram's head was going with that. <laughs> no, but yeah, like, yeah, that was it. I thought it was. I thought they were playing RuneScape. I was like, what the fuck. Just maybe like, secretly it's just a port. I mean, I don't. Th- I don't think gra- graphics are everything, but jeez, there's a minimum. <laughs> I think in the back of my mind, I hope that Artful Escape wins as well because that yeah. was a really good concept for a game, and it was quite well executed as well. To be fair, there is very little gameplay in the Artful Escape. Style-wise, I would definitely agree. I also really like the art style of Saber. That, that, that's what I mean. Because they weren't really going for gameplay; they were just going for the vibe of the game, which mm-hmm. sometimes is enough for a, for an indie game. By the way, I'm very yeah. Surpri- uh, actually, I don't know if it was a debut indie game, but I'm very surprised to not see um, uh, 12 minutes on this. I don't know. No, if that- no, 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 no. I thought the exact same fucking thing when I, I was I, voting for this. I mm. think I thought the same. Is it a debut indie though? No, I've not heard of. I was going to say I've never. I'm going to even. I'm going to Google that. Bear with What's me. The What's the Sable? I saw a bit of gameplay for Sable, and that does look really, really lovely. The art style is superb but i don't really know if there's much in terms of story or gameplay because it's very open game before forgotten city and never no, i mean I it's, it's it's highly rated oh, what's it on everything <laughs> Every, it's, it's on everything, everything. <laughs> drugs <laughs> yeah it's some, now, some this, now this game just wins and we're like huh hmm? that, <laughs> that if, if the forgotten city wins i will personally write to geoff Kiov. Addressing him like that. Oh, it's, it's a narrative-driven time loop adventure in ancient Rome, according to Steam. I've heard of it. I, the concept itself looked very interesting. I don't believe it was that well executed, though. Interesting. Could be. I thought it was that um, VR one. Argos, Agos. No, Argos is a shop in the United <laughs> Kingdom. What's with you and like references to the UK today? Speak today. <laughs> Anyway, next next category. Uh, the next category. We, we're all we've all. Conf- so, what does everyone think is going to win? Do we? It's we probably going to be Ken. I hope yeah. it's kind of Kenna. Okay, everyone's got same. Them. We're unanimous. Anyway, next category uh, produced by uh, Nigel Farage. <laughs> Actually, are we doing this one? Wait, the 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 creator? No, skip yeah, it. Because oh, let's be fair, content creator of the year. I don't know who you people are. No, I had yeah. to who ask you? who I should have voted for. The only one that I recognize the name of is Dream, and I'm not voting for Dream. The who last one looks like a typo. <laughs> oh my god, it... guys, there's a Grief. <laughs> it's it's a Grief Keely. 
It's it's Jeff Keighley's uh, it's his twin. son. It's his son. I mean, <laughs> after an extremely son. like like uh, top tier cringy fucking music video that Dream made, I mean, uh, nah. He, I don't think he get, gets any. Honestly, the year. Dream's profile yeah, picture I, looks I, like I one of those NFTs. He does. <laughs> I voted for Fusely for this one because women representation needs to happen more often. I think that's the one also yeah. I voted for. I guess that's just what we did. But there <laughs> you go. Even that's even it. That. Boom. Did that one. Next. <clears throat> anyway, uh, next category, this time with uh, six nominees. Best mm. multiplayer game. And uh, we do have quite a few well-known titles on this one. First of all, Back for Blood, the new left for that, if you will, by Turtle Rock and Warner Brothers Games. Uh, then we have Knockout City uh, by Vilan, Vilan, uh, published by Electronic Arts. It Takes Two by Hayside Studios, who've also previously uh, published um, uh, that Get Out game. What was it called? The Way Out. A way out, that's the one. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Monster Hunter Rise by uh, Capcom. We have New World joining us from Amazon Games, which was probably the one that Connor referenced before. Probably. And Valheim again <laughs> by Iron Gate Studios. You, you know what I understood? I understood Monsanto Rise. <laughs> like, what, like what is going on? No one was in fucking English today. <laughs> I mean, what is English? The honest to God. <sighs> Monsanto you, Tree was here, my favorite game of all time. <laughs> Um, okay, what did no, everyone no. vote for? Monsanto. Um, uh, no, you fucking didn't. <laughs> Give me your real answer, you shit lord. I, I voted for Back for Blood. Interesting. Because it's the only one I've played, and it yeah, me too. can have more people play it than a lot of the other games. Uh, Knockout City. Is it Knockout? So I wouldn't consider it it that great that, that, I, I agree with Connor It Takes Two was a bit of an interesting it's a choice. good co-op game but not a good yes. multiplayer game is there a co-op mm. section no I guess this is the only like co-op section I mean co-op has become less popular I suppose so it's been sucked up by multiplayer in this case so mm. I mean yeah. sadly I would like I didn't vote for it, but I would vote for it given that that there's not enough representation of like, like co-op games, and it should basically be its own category if they would have enough games for that. But then again, well, Back for Blood is also like co-op to some degree, right? Because you work together. But I mean, so I have you have to work together in a lot of multiplayer games anyway. That's true. It's like it's like saying uh, Apex Legends is co-op. So I have an agenda. Uh, yeah. With this. <laughs> What? Uh, no. I voted for uh, It Takes Two with the sole intention of getting the director of the game, uh, who also yes. directed A Way Out, again onto the stage of the Game Awards to scream, fuck the Oscars. Oh, <laughs> I want him drunk again. Absolutely. I want him and, and his uh, also, beautiful uh, nose I on the it stage. Takes two as well. <laughs> Just for that reason. I personally don't care that much for multiplayer, but I care for this guy. I want him. On stage. I mean, I, mean. I still have to play that, actually, really? it takes two. I haven't played I that I do yet. agree that It Takes Two is a very, very good game. And I still have to, I still have to play it, so I don't know what to say uh, about it all that much. I've played, like, Knockout City, and I've played uh, um, Back for Blood. So, I mean... Is Knockout City free to play? Yeah. No. I thought... I guess it is was it for... Is it, like, it, was, it was one of the games that was for PlayStation Plus at one point. Yes, I think it was, too, because I think I have it. Yeah. Uh, Knockout City. Googling. Googling. Um, and yeah, what do we believe will really win? Um, I think maybe New World. I was thinking New World as well. Hmm. I'd rather it not, but I'm thinking maybe... It sounds weird to give it to New World. That's like having, I don't know, like a movie about like school sport teams and then the winning trophy goes to the tre- a team that trained the most. Like, of course, fucking Amazon has a lot of budget to do this. Yeah, you'll just have Jeff Cockle and um, <laughs> Jeff Cockle. Je- Jeffrey Bezos. Oh my god, yeah, on maybe the stage Jeffrey together. Bezos. Both, both Jeffreys. Knockout City cost maybe, 17 pounds. Maybe, maybe people on the, on the, like, who had to vote were, like, bribed by Jeff Baldos. It, they? They'll make the joke of, oh, it's the wrong Jeff. <laughs> what do you think? Probably. If, if New World wins, that is. 
But I'm, I'm really if, if they really put Jeff Bezos on the stage, they don't have yeah. the money to do that. I mean, <laughs> why? Why is it? Is it just me, or does Jeff Bezos look like a, a penis got morphed into a human? Are you talking about was... him or his spaceship? Well, <laughs> no, no, he, he is the spaceship. Looks, he, his <laughs> spaceship looks like a penis, but he also looks like a penis that got turned into a human being. <laughs> True science. The most expensive <laughs> dick in history, people. <laughs> Okay, Maybe that's so, why he's so rich. So New World. Yeah, yeah, I think New World. In fairness, uh, yeah. Maybe. I mean, it's still a board of, like, um, IGN types that vote on this, mostly, and whose vote is, like, the one that that's, is the most important. I don't to be know, fair... Do we have the percentage this year? Do we know what the percentage is of, like, audience? Uh, no. Oh, it's the votes? same every year. I think it's about 5%. <laughs> Yeah. We googled it last year. It was something ridiculous like that last year. Yeah, like ten or five percent, and it's like, oh, yeah, it's, why it's, are we even it's doing a this? Nothing number. It's a nothing number because it's fun to predict this shit and sound like we know what we're doing, but we don't. We have no fucking yeah. clue. And we don't even know how to structure this show because this has been like a huge. You even um, do the game awards. Crash. As, as Bram said at the beginning, there's only a handful of episodes of this whole. The thing that we do every year, and two of them are always dedicated to this fucking show. To well, we are riding this wave the whole entire year, right? Yeah, we just sit around waiting in a cupboard for Game Awards, and then we <laughs> pop out and say, Oh my god, it's time! Speaking of riding, shall we move on to the next category? I think we should. Yeah, because that should. one is Best Sports and Racing Game. <laughs> Yay! Sports! Yay! We like sports. And the, the description of this one is for the best traditional and non-traditional sports and racing games, which is the most redundant right, description I've ever heard. <laughs> one of these is definitely non-traditional. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, FIFA. Never heard of that one. <laughs> what FIFA anyway, for fun? Yeah. I mean, F- FIFA's not a racing game. <gasps> Plot twist. I mean... Wait, F- FIFA's the only sports one here. They either, either are or racing. <laughs> they are, they are. Hmm... <laughs> FIFA for fun if they, get, if they make another game of this I'll shove it up your bum because sports games don't need to exist no they fucking don't they're a game in themselves get them out of here I'm I'm got the, the fact that FIFA is still being nominated for anything much less sold is is a fucking travesty but before we get to it let's hear the nominees I mean FIFA did have the whole thing with EA uh, and the FIFA actual mm, yeah. that spicy. corporation, anyway, whatever. Let weird read them out first. <laughs> but mom, I don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, you do. do it. Okay, the nominees for best sports and racing game are F1 2021 by Codemasters, uh, published by EA. FIFA 2022, uh, published and developed by EA Vancouver, EA Sports, and EA Romania. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 by Playground Games. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed by Milestone and Riders Republic by Ubisoft. Hmm. Pa, 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 pa. Nobody cares. I can guess Connors, and I think I can guess Brams. What, what would you guess mine as? Uh, yours is going to be. Oh, actually, no, I've just thought about it. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, I'm sticking Eat with Hot of... Wheels. Yours is Hot Wheels, Brams is Hot Wheels. Incorrect, I voted for Forza. Damn it! You know, as soon as I read it, I was like, oh shit, no, you're going to vote Forza because I know you're going to support your friend. Damn it! And I voted for FIFA. No, I'm just... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Graham, I give Hot you permission to FIFA. kill yourself. <laughs> no, it was Hot Wheels, obviously. I mean, I don't, I don't have a strong enough computer to play Forza, so I haven't played it yet. See, I would have voted for Hot Wheels, but it's very one track. In what you do in it? Have I mean, you, have you, tracks have you dabbled? In the game, have you dabbled in any of the like building tracks stuff? Yeah, I, I dabbled a bit in it, and I also dabbled in the um, livery creator thing. Oh yeah, you definitely did. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, I still think there's. Like, I feel elements like you could... missing from like, uh, for example, the PlayStation One version of the game, and I think the fact that I it's... feel like you can do so much more in Forza because it's not just racing. Um, I do think Hot Wheels needs a bit of work, like to be where it needs to be. So, uh, but I'm, I still voted for it because it's like I guess the only game that I actually played on this list. What did we vote for? Uh, so I um, bought a copy of FIFA. He's already said he voted FIFA. Well, and, no, no, I bought a copy 
Uh, I uh, dabbled a bit in the ancient arts, sacrificing it on a blood altar to get the intern at the Game Awards to delete the statistics for this fucking category. <laughs> you actually wiped this category from existence. <laughs> yes, I just... I'm just gonna snap it Thanos style and FIFA just goes away. The entirety, not just the game, just like the entire... And oh. all of football. Or <laughs> wow, soccer, if you're American be... and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what did, did you actually in other, oh, I don't in other words I skipped this one <laughs> okay there we go I mean that's that's an answer uh, but I guess we all think that uh, Force is probably going to win this yeah I think deservedly so in my opinion yeah I mean yeah whatever it's definitely going to be the one I mean it's it's probably also the most fun game out of all these things so. if FIFA 22 wins I am eating a soccer ball or football Ooh. Ooh, now I want it to win. I was going to say, me too. Yeah, same. I want to see this. Yeah, I Change see our that. You guys have no standards. <laughs> it's, a, it's been, look, okay? We have little things to enjoy in our lives, and you eating a football is apparently one of them, so just let it go. But if you're be the one, you'll be the one eating the soccer ball. That, that I, I don't think that like attributes to any type of standard either, so I mean, whatever. That's what I don't the next category, right? <laughs> Oh, this next category was difficult. Ah, yes. Let's hope this is something. It was More interesting. <clears throat> we have the best uh, simulator and strategy game, which is the best game focused on real-time or turn-based simulation or strategy gameplay, irrespective of platform. I don't know why they had to add that qualifier there, yeah, but sure. Um, so the nominees are Age of Empires 4 by Relic Entertainment, Evil Genius 2 World Domination by Rebellion Developments, Humankind by Amplitude Studios and Sega. Sega. Inscription by uh, Sega. Daniel Mullins Games, <laughs> uh, published by Devolver. Kisses to them. Uh, and Microsoft Flight Simulator, yet again, by Asobo <laughs> Studios and Xbox Games. Like the others. <laughs> okay. I mean, what is, what is this category? It's like, oh, let's get to that now. On to the category Soda and Pebbles. Like, what? what? No, no, like actually, I'm going to argue on that, Bram. Because in a strategy game, it got to simulate, like, particular scenarios and outcomes for what people are going to do. So... Yeah, but I every game simulates something. In, 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 that in is that also true. Thinking. I take I, I <laughs> take back what I said. I'd, I'd use the argument of they're both very niche categories that kind of just need to be lumped together otherwise no i mean there's so many more fucking there's not strategy enough game... games like my fucking game that i played i mean i've never got action liberation slash wasn't adventure on this and fucking then list either. so mm -hmm. it wasn't here and that's another game there's like a few i think there's a lot of strategy games that come out a year and i just think that it's like they just don't pay enough attention to that I have a and question. I guess, I guess simulations are just dying off, and they just want to give like flight simulator a chance to get something because it's one What's of the few question, simulators man? still. Why is the cover of Evil Genius Two just a picture of Margaret Thatcher? <laughs> 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 um, we're gonna let you uh, piece that puzzle together yourself. Okay. <laughs> I don't see the link between Genius and Margaret Thatcher though. <laughs> <laughs> What did everyone actually vote for for this one, then? Uh, I didn't vote for Margaret Thatcher, that's for sure. <laughs> Brown, what did you vote for? For <laughs> Finland. Oh, no! Shame. Get in your corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, I voted for... Um, I think I voted for Inscription because I just saw, like, Freak play a bit of it. Yeah, fair play, fair play. And it Same like here. Inscription is one of the weirdest things I've seen this year, and it deserves praise for that alone. Weirdness is worth preserving. As, uh... That's your name? Yeah, well, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Preserve me! Put me in a jar! This one I found very difficult because I've not played any of these. Right. Same. But I know that... Yourself and uh, Stephen both re have very much been enjoying Age of Empires. Yeah, and, and so I vote for Age of Empires. Nice, nice, excellent choice. Thank you for putting that vote because, apart from Inscription, I've played every. Si it's weird. I've played a lot of strategy games this year, even outside of this list. So many strategy games. I don't even fucking know why. Um, 
I found this hard. I found it really, really, really hard. Um, I so I, I wanted to vote for Age of Empires four, and I'm really enjoying it playing it right now, as I'm sure all three of you are aware. Um, but it's so recent that I don't think I've put enough hours in to be like, oh, this is the best strategy game, best one I've played this year. Um, although it might absolutely certainly be up there. Um, Evil Genius 2, I like the concept. It was really fun. It was, it was just, there's something really cartoony about it and it brought a lightheartedness to to a game that can really just f- <laughs> like flip on its head. Ah, uh, yes, the cartooniness of Margaret Fetcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone be unemployed. Um, <laughs> oh, Humankind was the first turn-based strategy game I was ever actually able to understand, play, and win. Um, mm. because I've, yeah, I've, I, I, I remember you really getting into that one. I did, because I wanted to get like into Civilization for a really long time. But... Um, well, freezing. Oh, fuck you. Um... <laughs> but... but always, always been outside of Civilization. Yeah, he's but... a castaway. Castle. Oh, fuck <laughs> off! Hate all of you. Um, but turn Ahoy based. But... <laughs> no, it's Castaway. in my head. And oh, now it's in your head too. You're welcome. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I'll skim oh. through this. Um, but I couldn't get. I can't get through turn based strategy games. Like Civilization is very. A very knowledge heavy to like get into it's not it's a bit of a gatekeepy game and it's a bit of a dark souls in that sense like you've got to f- know your shit you just make I two think fan flight simulator is the same I-, I know you're not going into flight simulator yet but i think flight simulator is the same it's very very niche no that's the thing so skip over um that the other one um because i haven't played it but flight sim flight sim's fun because i don't know it was fun to just do an actual real physical flight for th- four hours and then be like oh shit it's 3 a.m i should go to bed but instead i'm i'm flying to brussels so give me that guys i'm a bit busy right now Lord. but um because it got me into strategy turn-based games i i voted for humankind just because it did the thing that i've not been able to actually do the entire time that is fair enough the but oh my god it was so close between that and age of empires <laughs> so close. Not, not fully split but the votes are somewhat more split than uh than other times so I think Evil Genius has a chance of winning because it's the most accessible, friendly to more people. Yeah, accessible. It's the yeah. most accessible game to get into. Like the others are very niche. Flight Sim far too niche for my vote. Like it is a good game, but it's also very, very specific in the kinds of people who'd play it. We keep forgetting that the type of people who vote on this are the IGN types. So they may be the people who spend a lot of time in some games and. It- if I was actually, to put my money down on anything, I'd actually put it down on Age of Empires. Just because it's such a well-established strategy game series. No, I, 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 wait, I wait do think Age of Empires should win. I, um, I'd, like to, I'd like to retract my statement from earlier. Like I, I, I said that IGN people would probably be the one who put like a lot of time into games, but I, think I just thought that there's probably a lot of people who just like play a game for an hour and then write an article, so I guess I have to retract my statement from earlier. Sorry. <laughs> So no, it's probably going to be an easy, easy accessible game because I need to be able to write a review and put it out in like a matter of a, a day or something. Of 30 seconds, <laughs> which is the attention span of all IGN readers. Fun <gasps> fact. Ooh. <laughs> I know Sorry, what, what I said. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, exactly. There we go. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I think Age of Empires will win, but vote for Humankind. What do you guys think will win? I mean, It's either Age of Empires or Evil Genius. Yeah. The thing is, I think I about think... Evil Geniuses, it's the first one since, like, 2004 was the last one? I mean, I Age of Empires has been around for quite a while as well. Yeah, That's and I think true. Age of Empires has that, like, um, uh, for especially if it goes for, like, people who have been, like, in the gaming industry who are going to vote on this. Uh, I think it has, like, people are more biased towards Age of, Age of Empires because it's, like, something from their childhood. Like, because I, I think a lot of people are going to be my age, like, people who vote on it. Or maybe a bit older, so they probably grew up with like Age of Empires on the PC and stuff. So, I mean, I think it has like a, a an advantage there, just because of that. Mm. Okay, I mean, interesting. Un- unless uh, unless one's, those five one... percent of votes that we cast can change the tide <laughs> somehow. Probably not. Um, 
Yeah, okay, that's an interest. I think that's going to be an interesting one. Because also, I mean, we keep forgetting, but Flight Sim is in there. And Flight Sim is, um, yeah. I know niche, and I agree with Connor, but also... The reason they keep making a billion flight sim games is because some weirdo likes to sit there with their full controls and their paddles and the knobs. And that's just poor. Yes, but that's not, it's not a very high percentage of people, though. I wouldn't discount yeah. it. No, yeah. I'm, I'm not discounting it. I'm just saying there's more. Uh, there's a higher percentage of people who would enjoy the other games more. Yeah, but you, It'll be interesting would... to see. I think, I think that would be an interesting one. There's probably right, a lot yeah. of people like to play with their knobs, so that's at least something. <laughs> yeah, but they're all spending their time at the Golden Joystick Award. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> they're spending their time with their Golden Joystick, I suppose. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, well, yeah. how fitting. Um, From sex to family games. <laughs> I mean, sex usually leads to families, let's be fair. Um, oh, so that's we're, a good point. We're talking about the best family game for the best game appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform. Again, the qualifiers. Did they have? <laughs> did they really have to intern write these? <clears throat> and returning as nominee is uh, It Takes Two by, again, Hasslet Studios. Then we have Mario Party Superstars by NoCube and Nintendo. We have the new Pokemon Snap by Bandai Namco. And we also have another Mario game returning here. Uh, Super Mario 3D World uh, Bowser's Fury by uh, Nintendo. And another Nintendo game rounding it all up. Uh, while we wear, get it together. Well, Nintendo's going to walk though. away happy from this particular isn't, category. Isn't, isn't Mario Party Superstars that like shitty Mario Party, which is basically like just like a... A reskin of like a few old uh, old maps and just a few old games. It's like doesn't even have like the amount of content that a normal Mario Party game would have. Is that this one? No, it has the same amount of content, if not more. It's just it, like you said, it is a remake of older ones mm. put together, is it which is really fine if you market it. About the lack way. of content in that one. No, I've seen a lot of people really enjoying it because it's the first one where you can play online from the get-go. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So because... I think it. I, I voted for Mario Party Superstars because it's the one where you can play with most people. Like the others, you can't really play with other people as much. But with Mario Party Superstars, you can play with, with more people and I think that would make the best family game because there's more than two people in a family usually. Yeah, true. But I mean, how I can be a family of one. It? Fuck you. It's, it also comes out as how, how often are the parents actually going to join in, right? So, I mean, a lot of times it's just like two, two kids in a in a family or something. This just reminds yeah, me of when I tried Mario... to make my dad play Super Smash Brothers. Oh. <laughs> with Mario Party Superstars, it's so accessible to anyone that parents could join in fairly easily. And don't forget, Grandma. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. grandma. Ah, uh, grandma. I feel like my grandma um, would take a shot every single time she gets on a red field. Brian, what did you vote for? I actually voted for It Takes Two. Just really? Cause, interesting. Yeah. I mean, it just looks like the most interesting game out of all of them. Even though I haven't... I don't think I've played anything in this list, to be honest. So I was I like, well, nee, this is a harder, harder choice. I have to I, go off what I saw. I just have a very severe dislike for Wario. <laughs> is it because his pants are splitting at the crotch? Yeah, that is disturbing to look at. Not just that, but I dislike his character generally. He's a, a gross character. <laughs> is it because he smells bad? <laughs> How do we know what Wario smells like? Also, I bet it's ironic and he's the best smelling one. Ma- Mario actually just stinks of, you know, sewer shit. Exactly, and it, yeah. Wario just has mental farts. True. I mean, a fart is not as bad as, like, sewage. Depends on Unless the fart. That's a really bad fart. I was going to say, it could be a really Yeah, but really Wario, li- Wario can eat literally anything if it were going off with Smash Bros. Damn. So can Kirby. I've never seen Kirby fart before. Oh, I bet Kirby has <sighs> the worst breath. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I bet he does. <laughs> you know, he meant to say that Kirby has the breath of the wild. <laughs> I thought, I thought Link, Link too had the breath of the wild. The wild breath. <laughs> um, I voted for It Takes Two. Just again, because the, the first uh, person I played it with was my sister. 
Um, I can't mm-hmm. remember when it came out. Oh, I think it came out just because my sister had an operation this year, um, and while she was off, um, yeah, we were playing games together, and I brought that, and we played it together, and it was fun. Um, I mean, I raged at her because she she had, my sister hasn't got the ability to know that there's a there's a right joystick as well as a left one that moves. She doesn't understand no. camera controls, so I'd sit there and she'd be like, "I'm looking at a wall." I'm like, "Yeah, turn your camera." Yeah, there you go. No, you've gone too far. You're looking back at the floor. Okay, no, no, no. And, and it would really annoy me. But it was great fun. So I voted for It Takes well, Two. Damn. Weird. I don't remember. Oh, for God. This is why you write it down. Th- that's what I have you for. <laughs> yeah, Graf, you're the unpaid intern. You should be writing everything down. Yeah. True. Oh. I did! I mean, technically, I trusted this website to work. I mean, that's... That was my first mistake. Wait. Wait, For the, any, the, the, the anyone really listening to this, Griff has just turned on his webcam and he is waving his piece of paper quite aggressively. They'll hear, they'll hear it on the microphone of just... Oh, yes. Pleasant. Um, <laughs> I mean, what would you vote for if you... I mean... It, I'll probably go for either Mario Party Superstars for, you know, the nostalgia of Mario Party, or It Takes Two for the one that I probably would play the most. Again, mm. family games, not really something I get into much. I think I mean, Pokemon Snap might win this. Don't, don't bring that up. I, I don't think Pokemon Snap's a family game, though. Like, you're just playing with one person. Pokemon oh, snap. Snaps. It's one person playing it. It's not multiple people. I think multiple people would need it would need to be multiple people for a family game. How would a Pokemon True. snap anyway? Many of them don't even have fingers. Also, does that mean you just snap their neck? Like, I, mean, oh, just, I was thinking the same thing. Family game. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, there's probably there's probably now like some families who have like two or three switches in the household or something. <laughs> Wait. So if if a game has some like option or way to play it together, or just I don't know. It's just a weird thing, but I guess like there's probably people who have like multiple switches. I know Warrior where you can play multiplayer online mm. or just like multiplayer. Uh, I think it's just uh, couch core. Nice. Well, not core. That's the yeah. good shit. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think Mario Party will win? Probably. I do because I think it's the most family friendly. Yeah. Because I mean, it takes two deals with very heavy topics. We also hope that it like it takes two wins it's... so the guy can storm. <laughs> It takes two is, give, is what you yeah, give to your sibling you children. Bo- what? It takes oh, two yeah. is what you give to your sibling or like like your your twins, your child, your children, when you're about to get a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if your two parents are going through a divorce, give that, give your children. It takes two. It's, it's cheaper than therapy. I mean, it it's takes two to get therapy. a divorce, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Mom and Dad don't love each other I, anymore, I, but here's a video game. Anyway, <laughs> I moving on. For this. I didn't vote for this one. I straight up just did not vote. What is it? <gasps> best fighting game. The next I one don't... is indeed the best fighting game. Uh, for the best game designed primarily around head-to-head combat. I thought you what? said hat to hat, and I was like, are people just throwing like trilbies at each other? I'm like, what the fuck? I, I mean, what is head-to-head combat? He's in the top half where people frisbee. just headbutt each other. <laughs> like I, I don't think headbutting oh, wait, is part what? of any of these games primarily. Uh, <clears throat> I do know what that is, Gro. You know what odd job is? Yeah. From what's he from? I don't it, it's the James Bond thing, Gro. Hey! I'm impressed! You know what you get if you if you cross <laughs> I know that sounds sarcastic, but I'm genuinely job. impressed. <laughs> I said that so like Unsure of myself. Well, you were right. <laughs> yeah, it's James oh Bond. My God. Oh my God. So, the nominees for best fighting game are uh, the Demon Slayer game, and I don't know who developed this because the website has an error here, which just displays the video game title again as uh, the developer Demon... name. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Geely Keely. Um, oh, then come we have on, Geoff Knightley. Uh, yeah, come on, Kieran Knightley. <laughs> you should be Kieran. Kieran Knightley. Well, help. in an alternate uh. universe, Kieran Knightley was 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 born as a male, and that's that's their name. God damn it, Johnny yeah, Downey well. Jr. Je- Jeff Keighley just transferred from another universe where Kieran Knightley 
was born male. <laughs> well, I mean, nice. would we really be surprised? I just thought uh, the same name somehow. Then yes. by Arc System Works, Guilty Gear Strife. Then we also have Melty Blood Type Lumina by Baguette. Baguette? Baguette? Uh, sorry, French Bread. Uh, uh, okay. We have Nickelodeon All Stars, All Star Brawl, and Virtual Fighter 5. What, what is this category? <laughs> <laughs> uh, fighting games. It's anime's dick! It literally, that's why I didn't vote, because I looked at it and I was like, what? This is why I voted for Nickelodeon. I mean, your options are anime or Spongebob. Okay, sh- cool, I voted for Nickelodeon. <laughs> I voted for Guilty Gear. For I vote to get the fuck out of here. I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't played it, but it just looked, uh, looked Again, the best. Again, I voted for Nickelodeon because it's most accessible. Fair True. enough. But for Western or- audiences, right? I yeah. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think we can really hazard a guess like what what's gonna win here. I suppose because got, I mean, got no clue. How Japanese heavy is the audience of the game awards? I mean, it's not necessarily Japanese heavy, right? I mean, it just has to come down question. to like, I think wasn't the the the, the Nickelodeon game very glitch heavy, or just like. Not that good, from what I've heard. I've seen like it's it's like a it's like a very cheaply made it it, it kind of looks like a very cheaply made Smash Brothers from what I saw because it was like you can very easily like spam some stupid moves and that type of Weird. shit. Weird. Yes. Okay. Have you voted in this category? <laughs> no. Right. Okay. Just vote for Nickelodeon for me, please. Why? Just no. Just do it. I think I've found a way for you to find out. What you voted for. If oh, you make really? a vote on a category, all your votes pop back up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I Jesus know, Christ, they job. do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah. <laughs> this website's so broken. To the intern that developed this website. <laughs> Every year. You might want to consider a career change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Next category. <laughs> something. Next something category. Next role playing game. game. Welcome to the best role-playing game of 2021 for the best game design with rich player character customization and progression, including massively multiplayer experiences. And coming to us as nominees are Cyberpunk 2077 by CD Projekt Red, Monster Hunter Rise yet again, uh, Scarlet Nexus by Bandai Namco, Shin Megami Tensei V by Atlas Games and Sega, and Tales of Rise from Bandai Namco. Uh, Perry told me to vote for Scarlet Nexus, so I did. Yeah, I voted for Scarlet Nexus. I as voted well. for Scarlet Nexus because I finished Scarlet Nexus. What? No love Only for because Atlas I don't games? want Cyberpunk to win because it was what? a broken piece of shit. <laughs> you voted so for we what? voted for Monster Hunter Rise, right? <laughs> <clears throat> I will yes, sue you. <laughs> <He's just laughs> nice. Like, sorry. Sorry, he's just clearing the um, monster dick out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did, did you guys? Did you guys hear? Like you said, you said Barry told you to vote for uh, for Scarlet Nexus. But did Barry also tell you that she tried playing Cyberpunk again and it's even worse than it was in the beginning? Yes, yes, she did. <laughs> it's like okay. I mean, that's something. I mean, you yeah, can... that game's just. I, I don't. You know, I was thinking about it the other day. I don't think Cyberpunk's ever going to do like a No Man's Sky. I think yeah. it would just stay shit forever. No, they 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 are actually working on updates for it. They've been. Oh, no, I'm not it. saying they're not gonna. No, that's that's fine. I'm just saying it. I don't think it will ever. Oh, but they're work not gonna. Properly. They're not gonna keep adding more content to it like No Man's Sky did. No, um, probably not. What a baby. <clears throat> anyway, that's that category. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what I did we vote for? Shin Megami Tensei Five, just because those guys made Persona. Fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. Really all I have for you're, it. You're a royal fan through and through. Here's here's the thing. Like, I think the tone of of Persona Five is like something that really got me into that game. But I think it's a, such a tonal difference that it is. It really is. There's a lot of it's people who despise more... Persona because it's so different. I think what's dif- what makes it different is mm-hmm. what makes it better. But I know there are a lot of hardline Shin Megami Tensei fans. I just want to support the developer with this vote. Really, that's that's all there is to it. 
Yeah, a lot of people don't like the comparison, even though it's like, I mean, it's the same developer, I'm, and I guess, I mean, it's easy to make a comparison. True, true. All right, so, yeah, perhaps what's gonna a bit win, of a... though? That's... Oh, yeah, good point. What's gonna win this? I feel like this is like... I fucking don't care. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a Sorry. one. I hate to say it, but it's probably gonna be Cyberpunk. No, I don't think I, it will. I, I it think people be, are going to be like, like no, it was somehow. broken. I mean, it got nominated. I, I'm I thought it was in like all of them last year. Actually, I'm just going to check. What was it in last year? I'm surprised that Genshin didn't get nominated. Because uh, uh, Genshin did get very popular. True. But is that technically an RPG, though? Because, I mean... Oh, my God. With, 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 I'd call it an RPG. With what they said here, with, like, character customization and, like, the, all that shit, I mean... Isn't Genshin Does just, Scarlet like, Nexus have character customization? I mean, there's a big skill tree, like, a fucking huge skill tree that you can do. That's what I'm they mean. I'm pretty sure that. Genshin Impact also has a skill tree. Um, oh, it does? Say? No. Uh, I thought it was just about collecting bullshit. Cyberpunk didn't get a single nomination last year. This is its only Game Awards nomination in history. Wow. I guess through the dog a bone. Um, but I <laughs> I haven't heard much about Scarlet Nexus, so I don't think it's all that popular. It just appears Exactly here. why I think that Cyberpunk will it. win this. I think yeah. Shin Megami Tensei may win this, then. Uh, um, yes. Be because Cyberpunk is a I mean, that, there piece are of shit, a bunch and I think of... they just put it up because, like... Uh, a sympathy? I don't know. I think there are a bunch of Monster Hunter fans that might pull through, though. Monster Hunter! Yeah, Even though I none mean... of us like Monster Hunter Rise? Nope. No. I think there's a bunch of Monster Hunter fans that will be like, yeah, that's my shit. I mean, Monster Hunter uh -huh, is basically... That's my is, shit, sorry. It's basically a game about oh boss God, fights, so it's definitely <laughs> not up my alley. I, just, oh, I think boss fights are one of the most overrated things in video games. Just like some tedious shit most of the time. So, yeah. No, I'm imagining Sorry, Johnny we were, Silver and singing this. We were taken aback by Gwen Stefani. Hell yeah. Right, moving moving on. on. Yeah, next one. <laughs> next one, perhaps a bit more accessible to all of us, is the best action adventure game. For the best action adventure Woo, game, combining the stupidest combat, category ever. Combining combat like with it. traversal and puzzle solving. And the nominees are Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy by Ideas Montreal and published by Square Enix. Metroid Red by Mercury Steam, published by Nintendo. Psychonauts 2, developed by Double Fine uh, Studios and published by Xbox Games. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, developed by Insomniac Games and published by mm -hmm. Sony International. And Resident Evil Village, developed and published by Capcom. I mean, it's no surprise what I voted for. Uh, you have a, you voted for Resident Evil, Weird voted for Ratchet and Clank, Connor did Metro Dead, and I did Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Was I wrong? Hmm. I'll take that as a no. I was going to say, that stunned <laughs> silence was beautiful. <laughs> no, I mean, Metroid Dread's the only one I played. Um, That's the only one I haven't played. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Metroid Dread is the only one I wouldn't play because, I mean, I don't like platformers. I think I'm it's also like... I finished Psychonauts 2. I need to finish it. Did I vote it for any of this? I've yes, got Psychonauts 2 downloaded, I just never got around to playing it because <laughs> I never found myself wanting to get around to playing it. Yeah, I, assume it is I, do, I do want to play it. I do, I do want to play it. I just didn't find myself Here's having the, thing, the motivation though. to. I probably want to play Ratchet and Clank, but that's like one of the few games that you actually need a PlayStation 5 for. Uh, which, I mean, still, there's not much to actually get it for apart from that. So, I mean, whatever. Um, so, it is. it basically is, like, has that setback going for it. Uh, but that's probably not going to be a setback for people voting for it because it's going to be people with, like IGN and the type of shit. It's like I keep referencing that because I don't know any uh, I don't know any uh, other things that are included or uh, I guess it's like a lot of insiders from like like uh, that have to do with video games. But I don't know what what necessarily the um, the people who are voting on it like where the fuck they all come from. So weird, but. I guess they would all have access to a PlayStation Five, so I don't think, I don't think they would have the same entrance as me with that. So I think Ratchet and Clank could win this as well, but I voted for Village, like I said. I want to hear Weird's views. Weird. 
Uh, I mean, I'm going to bring this up again when we talk about our top five of the game uh, of our of uh, this year on over at uh, Twitch.tv slash one shot counts. Um, but <laughs> uh, I voted for Ratchet and Clank for the simple reason that I believe it's the only game on this list that has technical innovation. Um, hmm. The game is, first of all, stunning. It loads fast as hell. And the whole, um, basically, traversal of dimensions that works without any loading times is, on a technically level, really, really impressive. And while all of them are good games, uh, that's the only thing that really sets it apart from the rest. And that's why I went for it. I mean... Yeah. I mean, it has that because it made the conscious the conscious choice of only going for PlayStation 5. I mean, otherwise this game wouldn't have been possible with, like, the seamless loading. Which, in my I mean, opinion, any is other good. Game, like, any other game could have integrated something with, like, seamless loading and have been better. It's, it's just that they wanted to still be there for PlayStation, for people who don't haven't bought a PlayStation 5. So, I mean, I'm kind of, like, from a monetary perspective, I'm kind of split on, like... Uh, wanting to give my vote to the game that way that's that's one of the things it's like you have to you have to have this this console that's so hard to get to begin with and that also I mean, costs money and you would buy I mean, it for yeah. a single game maybe the the uh, the console is hard to get but i do believe that is a different topic i actually do appreciate it that they only brought this out on playstation 5 because they really went for it they optimized it for it and if every game is being released everywhere, including last-gen platforms anyway, then what's the point mm -hmm. of innovating in the first place? Mm, good point. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's there's innovating, and then you have the fact that you, I mean, now at this point, it's just something that's just, just not that accessible, I suppose, because of the fact that the consoles are so, so hard to get now at this point. That's the kind and, of... And so expensive. And so expensive, oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. So yeah, I think it just, just kind of has that downside going for it. Can't yeah, I think it find Metroid Dread? Uh, because it's the only one I've played. But also, it's the only Metroid game that I've actually been excited to play. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Fair enough. Yeah. Simple answer, but a uh, easy. I, 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 I've seen I've seen gameplay for all of the other ones. I watched you play through the entirety of Village, and I felt it. I felt oh, like yeah, Resident Evil. Vill I felt like Village was a bit of a letdown. Village was interesting. Like they, they were, I remember when we they were trying to go for so much, but pulled through on it's so not little. The first thing is it's not scary, apart from that one no, bit of the doll. I mean, yeah, it's. I mean, it's not necessarily. So I didn't even find the bit with the dog scary. Yeah. I mean, the baby was kind of disgusting. It, fe it felt uh, like they were rushing you through every second. Mm. And also, I remember when we got to the first boss fight and we thought, is this the end of the game? <laughs> yeah. And that was a couple hours in. Yeah. yeah but yeah, was... what do we think will win? I think... I mean, Metroid Dread has been the best-selling Metroid game like straight up, but Ratchet yeah, but Clank I, is I a. I doubt it's gonna win though. I mean, it has the fact it has a downside of being a two D platformer type of game to begin with. Mm. I think that's my money's on Ratchet and Clank. Absolutely, my money is also on Ratchet I think, and Clank. I yeah, think I, I, in, the, in the golden, I could see in the golden joystick thing, like like Resident Evil won like a lot for some reason, but that's probably just because there's a lot of people. I can think that's more of like audience participation. And I think the thing that Weird said is correct. Like, when it comes to, like, people who are going to vote on this, they are going to, like, really appreciate this innovation. And they're just going to vote for Ratchet and Clank. I could see why Ratchet and Clank would win, but I could also see why Ga Guardians of the Galaxy could win. Hell yeah. I'd, I'd say Guardians has the most action slash adventure yeah. going Guardians for of the it. Galaxy is one of the funniest games I've ever played. It's it is, but I th but I oh think like God. a lot of people who have like who are gonna vote on this are gonna have like a bias towards like innovation because they're in the industry. Yes, the so thing can... is, you made an excellent argument for that, and I do think Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, but there's al there's also a different uh, category that is best innovation in games. I think it's just gonna take both in that case because of that bias. Maybe. But it's, it's still yeah, there's still gonna be that bias. So yeah, I I think that Psychonauts and Ratchet and Clank are too linear. 
whereas got into the galaxy is not as linear and it's more for the adventure side of things interesting same mm. same for resident evil village hmm. interesting i think that's going to be one to watch out for yeah i mean we're going to be watching out for all of them Hell but, yeah. yeah yeah but some god i can't on. wait for yeah, content oh, creator of the year <laughs> Oh, sorry, I forgot. Best esports gamer. Or oh, it is. damn! Best esports coach. How could you forget? Best yeah, I, you know, I, I always laugh my ass off when we actually watch it because then they like, they basically offhandedly handedly say into a microphone. Oh yeah, by the way, best coach is XXX Dream Boy sixty nine XXX Banana. <laughs> banana. Uh, yes, his name ends with banana. I don't think that's that sounds like a game that could exist, but probably won't be uh, uh, on the video game awards. So I mean, whatever. I mean, and then they just show like I don't know stock footage of a random gamer dude, which might be their profile. I don't know, and gamer. move on with another LG advertisement. <laughs> Damn. Um, wait. Speaking of moving next on, category, please. Best action game. Which is just the same thing as before without the adventure part. So it's boring yes. action. I, I would disag- I would say that it's deserved of a separation. Fair enough. Because the other one, it is more about adventure. Agreed. Through, yeah. Whereas this, it is just action, fighting, killing. Death. Death. Which is what we are all about here. Uh, for the best game in the action genre, focus primarily on combat. And uh, returning as a nominee is Back for Blood. We also have Chivalry 2 by Torn Banner Studios and Tripwire Interactive. Deathloot by mm-hmm. Arcane Studios and Bethesda. Far Cry 6, sixth installment of the Far Cry series, uh, by Ubisoft Toronto. And Returnal by Housemark, which recently got acquired by Sony Interactive Entertainment. See, I haven't played that last one, but I did hear, hear a lot about it when it came out. Like, a lot of people were, like, really praising uh, Returnal. But I, don't I don't know if you're going to like it, though, Brown, because it's a bit of a Dark Souls kind of game. Yeah, that's what I mean, but, like, the, I mean, with the... But Dark for Souls my, is the for best myself, game ever. I definitely didn't vote for anything <laughs> like it because I don't know it. If uh, you don't play Dark Souls, you're not a true gamer. <laughs> if you don't play Dark Souls, <laughs> yeah. You, if you don't, if you don't play video games with you very don't play Dark Souls. Controls, you better get better. good. I don't Let get it. laid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing Dark Souls gets you uh, gets you a lot of puss. Um. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I voted for Back for Blood because it was. It's not the only one I've played, but it's the only one I've. It's the only played. one I wanted to vote for. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's the only one. That, it's the one that I voted for as well. I mean, I don't want to support Bethesda or Ubisoft. Okay, fair enough. I also didn't hear much good. Like after, like there was a lot of talk about Far Cry, but I didn't hear much after it came out. It kind of like fizzed out. Yeah, a lot Far of Cry had a like, lot of. Yeah. It had a lot of pub- publicity, but then stopped as soon as it released. Yeah, also, it just like, disappeared. They also like used they didn't like the, 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 the actor, like uh, what's his name, Giancarlo, like to uh, basically uh, Giancarlo Esposito to do a lot of like uh, what was I gonna say, like uh, marketing stuff for the game. But I've heard people complain that he's not in it all that often. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. So they were like, they feel like it's false advertisement to some degree, and I've heard people. Complain I mean, about it's that the same with um, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. He in got Johnny Silver Silverhand. <laughs> Oh, oh no! At least he got a hand uh, somewhere. Whatever. That's, what? Uh, what? 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 I don't even make what connect. What? I mean, there's a hand. There's, did we guess something? Ah, uh, uh, yes. People have hands. Wh- yeah, what? Feet. Is that what's on the end of my? Ah! Uh, I I like when did they get that? Feet. That's very. That's very non-inclusive because there's people with no hands or just one hand. So don't have hands. I'm saying people. That's have like hands. sounds like one of those. I'm not saying everyone has hands. I'm saying people do. That's like sounds. That sounds so like one of those people, Scandinavian the, dark you're jokes. That, no. You're saying that no. You're saying that no. No. Persons no. No. Have hands no. Are not no. People? What? no. 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 Weird. What did you vote for? Um. You didn't. <laughs> Wait. You what? Didn't vote for this. You didn't vote for anything. I, I didn't have hands, so. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he didn't have hands to vote, Chris. Uh, Stop being sorry, so. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not me. 
Um, you could knock with your face. Thank you. You, you, you could headbutt the door. Just bash, bash. Yeah, or it's you've flat. got legs, or should I not presume uh, you have legs as well? I I am just a concept. <laughs> um. He exists. Or well. do we? Okay, uh, right, just fucking answer this the This is getting extended. I voted for Deathloop because I like time travel. I don't know, man. I thought you really disliked Deathloop. Wait, what? No, that's Dan. I thought you really disliked Deathloop. No, that was Dan. I, I do like perpetually dying and being revived, but that doesn't have anything to do with the game. Right, okay. Uh, Professor, fair point. You don't really have to support that. Out of the games, I, I try to, in, in this case, separate developer from development. Um, no, I, I was trying to separate them too. Like, this, I, I voted for the games without thinking about the developers mm-hmm. at first. Mm. Uh, honestly, out of those five games, none of them really were interesting to me. So I voted for the one that was the least, least interesting. And that was... Deathloop. Deathloop. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry. I knew... I heard you... (laughs) To work with professionals one time. (laughs) Excuse me, I'm more fucking professional than you, bitch. I'm sorry, please don't love me. (laughs) Professional. (laughs) Right, what do people think is going to win? We have to start hurrying up. (laughs) Blimey. Now this can be a two hour long podcast. I I know it can, that's why I'm going to hurry it up. (laughs) I mean, uh, what is going to I, win? I this want a question, right? I want back for blood to win. I don't know which one's going to win. I can't even predict this one. Does does that loop do anything innovative, <laughs> or is it just no? No. Oh, okay. No. So, uh, hmm. What is going to win? This is a hard one. Um. Because I feel like. I feel like if if back, I think if if Back for Blood had like the sh- I, the charm that that the original Left for Dead games had because there's something missing in the charm department somehow, I think it would have taken I think away. Death might win. But now I it think could Deathloop be Deathloop or Back for Blood. Yeah, That's the only two that I style. think have a chance. Maybe Far Cry Six, but uh, I wouldn't. Probably not. I wouldn't put money on it. That would feel like a weird. It's, it's just like. That definitely does like, nothing to innovate. From like it would feel it would feel games. like a weird um, one-two win as well, especially with the whole thing that's going on with Ubisoft. Like, let's shun Ubisoft because they're a shit uh, company made by shit people. I can tell you exactly who's going to win. <gasps> Who? Mark Zuckerberg. But then, <laughs> as he's making a profit of me scrolling on Instagram while I'm bored watching the game awards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. It's gonna shall win, we move it's on? Gonna... Yes, we shall. Then, the next category brings us to best virtual reality or augmented reality game. For the best game experience playable in virtual or augmented reality, irrespective of platform, which is, again, just describing the fucking it's talk. a weird disclaimer. <laughs> um, hmm. And uh, brought to us is Hitman 3 by IO Interactive. I Expect You to Die 2 by Shell Games. Lone Echo 2 by Ready at Dawn and Oculus Studios. Resident Evil 4, the VR version of course, by Amateur Studio, Capcom and Oculus Studios. And Sniper Elite VR by Coatskin and Just Add Water. Hmm. I hadn't played a single one of these. I wonder. Like, Me what... neither, because I don't have a VR headset, so I didn't vote. What did I vote for? He's not part hmm. of the cool kids. Beat him up, boys! Oh no, he beat us up. Hey, hey, Griff, what did I vote for? Uh, oh, Resident Evil. <laughs> I looked yeah, at so it being like, yes, I'm going to give this some hard hmm. thought. So, so they ported one of my favorite games ever into VR. Hmm, that's a hard Well, you can play it because um, Metal's got the headset. Yeah, I, I guess I could, but I'm probably going to buy my own headset. I mean, he, he didn't even bring it along, I think, now. I have been looking into buying my he own He didn't really headset. use it that much. Quest 2 is the best. It's also I not expensive, actually. Two. I feel like the Quest Two is like what two hundred and fifty or something. Yeah, it's mm. cheap. It's it's pretty cheap. There um, is, so they yeah. run it at a loss. And it's also like it adds something to the game because, like, playing it in VR. Because if anyone's ever played like um, those uh, Resident Evil games, it's basically the ones where you have to stop to aim. 
So you can't move and aim at the same time, but you can now because it's in VR. And you also have some control over uh, the weapon and stuff. It's, it's kind of funny. Like, you can do some stupid bullshit now. So, it's... I mean, it, it adds something to the game, so I definitely want to play it that way as well. What did Weird vote for? Take a wild guess. I um, expect you to die. Obviously. <laughs> First one was one of the funniest experiences, aside from probably... Um, uh, that one game from the makers of Stanley Parable. Um, yeah. Accounting Plus. That's that's the one. Um, yeah. This one <laughs> and Accounting Plus us. are the funniest things you can experience in VR. By far. Well, Certainly a fucking experience. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely... It's, a, it's definitely going to be hard to figure out what's going to win this then. My money's on Hitman. Just for the brand I... recognition. Money is mm. on Resident Evil Four. It is very popular though. I'd... Like it's it's being played a lot, but it it kind of depends because like I think if it was a general audience like thing, it would probably be Resident Evil. I would be fairly sh sure of that. But now that it's, I mean, it's also people who grew up with Resident Evil, so maybe, probably like, like I said, a lot of these people are probably like maybe between like 10 years younger and my age or something so i guess they may have grown up with resident evil 4 as well mm. and i think that probably it takes into account I, I think there's a chance that they're biased towards it as well and i think there's a chance that it may win i'm just gonna say that like like my pick is resident evil but i also think it could potentially win this my um, argument for hitman 3 in this case would be that most people play uh, virtual reality games to basically mess around with the game to have that freedom of like, oh, I'm in the game. Or what happens if I put, I don't know, this rubber duck on this person's head? And Hitman, the open sandbox Hitman games are already built on that concept. And I think those two really flow well together and that's what most people will be biased towards. True. Interesting. Connor? True. I don't have money to put on any of these. Because I've not played any. Cool. And I have no idea how good of a games they are. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> okay. <Right here. laughs> I guess that's just this uh, this category then for now. All right, Definitely let's move, move on. on. Oh my god, I on, think so. best VR is currently still too niche. Do you think? Very true. Though there were a yeah. lot of contenders. I mean, not for like, the yeah, sure. voting. On a, this. a lot of people do now have a VR, but there's still a lot, lot more people who have a, even a PC which can play games. I mean, but we still have to take into account that the people voting on this probably all do have a VR. The people who I, I, review I, video I, games I'm, and that type of shit, they probably I don't know if one. I agree with you in that one. People uh, who, people who review video games who wouldn't have a VR? What the fuck? They should probably yeah, get another he's job, talk, then. He, He's talking about the jury, which you can oh. look up. No, um, Bram, I'm like, you're right, because most of the jury is like, you're a gamer, games radar, yeah. um... Like people who review games, that's like the people who will vote for this. So they're people who have the accessibility to play that. I guess so. Yeah. Um, the, where'd you better fucking say which the sponsor is for tomorrow. the next one? Oh, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> you can't fucking say it. Uh, this say it. Say it. Can I? Can, by, um... can I? Giafni will come to your house and do something nasty to your fridge. Uh, yeah. This uh, category is brought to us by Better Health and fridge. Travis Scott. <laughs> Hot. Uh, anyway, the next category is <laughs> innovation and accessibility, uh, which is recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology, and content to help games be played and enjoyed by an even wider audience, which, as we've already talked about in this uh, podcast and in general, is a very important thing to do, and we all support that. Hmm. Am I right? Hell yeah. Yes, true. Yeah. Okay, then for the nominees, we have returning Far Cry 6, Forza Horizon 5, a Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and the only one that we have not yet seen already is uh, The Veil Shadow of the Crown by Creative Byte Studios. Hmm. Uh, voted for Ratchet and Clank, but honestly, can't remember any of the accessibility options in any of the games I've played. I mean, I guess I it's it innovation and accessibility, so I mean, I don't necessarily... No, it's innovation need... in accessibility. It's in accessibility, not and. 
Oh. Innovation in Thanks. accessibility. Okay. Yeah, so the best one that's pushed the boundaries of uh, the accessibility. Hmm. Well, I don't necessarily know what to say at, at this at this topic because, I mean, at that point, I don't necessarily open the, the menu for accessibility because I don't, don't generally need it myself. So it's kind of hard time to it's figure nice, out. It's nice what to, to go through it, though. Yeah. I mean, you could still go through it, yeah. But you know, I'm, I'm just, I just want to play my games immediately, so I don't have, I have, you know, ADHD, so it just means that uh, my accessibility is, does the game start up quickly, so I can fucking play it immediately? <laughs> That's the accessibility that and I And you, need sir, need a PlayStation 5. I, 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 mean, I, I, I voted for Forza because cargo and anyone can make a cargo <laughs> so it's the most yeah, accessible to me. <laughs> I mean that is accessible. I mean, that, that is that an argument that would hold up in court? That's what I'm like questioning. Yeah, cargo. Your honor, I would like to. <laughs> but present sir, cargo you ran through. over five That's people. Uh, yeah, but cargo. Fair enough. He is non-guilty. <laughs> the car is the guilty person. <laughs> Damn. Um, on the I'm on the website of Insomniac Games right now, twist. and the list for accessibility options in Ratchet and Clank is as long as my arm. There is mode. There's of course difficulty modes. There is uh, combat assist. There is uh, traversal toggles for preventing people from falling off of ledges, for doing proper jumping, for in case you don't have uh, that fast of a reaction time. There is uh, visual. And screen effects uh, additions of how you can toggle off screen shaking, of specific colors, of shading different things. You can customize pretty much all the HUD. And uh, for the controller, you can also do uh, like how sensitive it is, how uh, how much it is vibrating. UI not only for people who have problem of accessibility, but also for people, who, for example, playing late at night, uh, having a midnight mode, that kind of thing. And honestly, it's one of the best accessibility options I've ever seen. Uh, so my vote I mean, Forza, all of those things that you're saying, Forza has the equivalent of. In it, it might have. I haven't no, played Forza. Cargo Vur. Cargo I mean, indeed. I mean, Forza, I voted it, for it, but it, that's it, just because of my ADHD and because I didn't read that it's innovation in. Okay, so Bram's dumb as shit. Um, I mean, I was correct still. It seems like a lot of accessibility, so I'm correct. <laughs> Insulting someone because of their disability while I'm being in the category I, in that's, in that's, accessibility that's, 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 is my type of humor. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> cancel me in the morning. I ain't got time for it cancel now. Cancel right me now. in the morning! <laughs> I ain't got time for that shit right, right now. I'll, I'll schedule something, not your worry. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Um, I also voted for Ratchet and Clank. Not that I remember that list, but I do remember going through it and being like, "Ooh, a midnight mode." Of course, <laughs> it's got a very good uh, sound modes, including a midnight mode, and also like, uh, and it, it's got uh, difficulty options like Sebastian mentioned about Ratchet and Clank. And like also... you can have all driver assists on if you want, and you would not go off the track. And um, also... I'm pretty sure it can support the uh, controllers where if you're if you can't move your body properly, you can control it with your eyes. Hmm. And also, it's on Xbox, and Xbox have the really good. Oh no! I know what Griff wants to hear. Uh, cargo of room. There we go. Fucking hell! Jesus Christ. That took a while. And also cargo of room. There we go. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> Oh my Bram God. knows my level of stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what yeah. do you guys think that will win? I'm, I'm also, surprised not... nobody said like and Clank or Ratchet. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Fucking damn it! <sighs> I hate you. Um, love you too. <laughs> Early sleeping pills. Uh, I I think Ratchet and Clank will win. Yeah, I think it's I think it's safe to say that it may well And that's won. not because I voted for it, I just think it will. I think Forza, because it's also free. <laughs> and that, It's uh, free. On top of the seven ninety nine yeah. I pay a month. <laughs> it's free on Game Pass, and that means it's more Connor. accessible to more people. Connor, 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 that's Connor, a Connor. business strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Game Pass is on multiple platforms, so I mean, it, there's more accessibility in that form. <laughs> to be honest, buying a it's on mobile as well. Oh, no, fuck you right. It's on three. Yeah. <laughs> is is Ratchet and Clank just Game disqualified Pass? because people can't get a PlayStation Five? 
spicy. Yeah, so it's not accessible no, to anyone because, because no on, one has a PS5 and it's also expensive. Wait, wait. Whereas Forza is much easier no, to get. Last your year, hands Last of Us Part Two won, and that's an only PlayStation experience. Yeah, in, yeah but you didn't have to kill a scalper to play it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just... Yeah. Okay. Fine. You win. Yes. Ca- you also, can't go. Vrr, and that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but next still... category, please, sir. I think for the next category, we can split this a little bit up. Best oh, okay. I wrote for Apex. <laughs> Jesus. All right. All right. All right. Wow. All right. Okay. Best community support, recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness, inclusive of social media activity and game updates and patches. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> And nominees are Apex Legends by Bungie. Did you vote for Apex as well? Oh, for fuck's sake! Let it finish. <laughs> Destiny 2 by Bungie, Final Fantasy 14 Online by Square Enix, Fortnite by Epic Games, and No Man's Sky by Hello Games. You might continue. What? <laughs> what the fuck happens? <laughs> I can imagine you pulled a really sad face then. <laughs> I mean, all I know is that I voted for Apex. I voted for Apex, but I don't but could... play. It all. I don't gun go brr. I think it just has to. Do what kind of gun goes brr? Like there's like a, a <laughs> art community around, and then they like had some some people design like some uh, uh, things that were used in game as like loading screens and stuff, for example. Um, I mean, and then there's like updates and stuff, frequent updates. I don't know if any of the others actually have good community support. That's <gasps> the thing. No man's sky, sir. Yeah, sure, No Man's Sky is getting some updates, but there's not much talk from the developers over the support of the game. Yeah, all the and time! Like support, and supporting what? the players playing Here's the game, the thing, I mean. Like, Apex has, like, a community, like, on social media, and I don't necessarily know if that's the case for uh, No Man's Sky. I don't know if there's, like, ooh, like, No Man's Sky. Sure, yeah, sure like No, Man's Sky, is pu- no, no Man's, Man's Sky is pushing out um, updates to make the game better, yes, but um, Respawn and that have more transparency in what updates they're doing, what changes they need to make in responsiveness to community uh, issues, such as gun changes, if they need to uh, nerf, or um, so, hold benefit up. weapons to be better or worse. Are you telling me the award goes to the company that tweets the most? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the one that it has the most support for the people playing the game more the most often. I mean, I'm not saying that you're that you're saying that, but to me, that comp- that that sounds like it. Like, hey, the co- community that is the loudest. Hmm. Honestly, I, pay, I, mean, I I I I didn't vote for anything here. So I mean, I mean, if there's a community where there's a community and the developers are like or in, the, in, the, in communication. The sub- more often, the subline I mean, say uh, inclusive right? of social media. Ah, oh. says so inclusive of inclusive of social media activity. So yeah. yes, the company who tweets the most. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it. or who has like the most tweet is is tweeted at the most in a positive way, I suppose. As well, I guess that counts. Well, it's got to be something that the uh, that the company itself does, right? Just because you have the biggest community doesn't mean you're the best at community support. Yeah, but the companies are giving out the support. Yeah, yeah, respawn. yeah. I mean that type of st- the type of stuff. If they do something with it, like I, I, I do, I do get why you might vote for No Man's Sky because it was a trash game when it released, and they are constantly updating it, making it better, and sometimes listening to the community to include what they might want in the game. But it's not as frequent as Apex, and it is not as prevalent as yeah. Apex. I mean, wasn't wasn't Final Fantasy fourteen also on this list, or was that the ongoing yeah. thing? Because you just rather yeah, enough... Final Fantasy fourteen is I don't know what the fuck they do with like thing. community stuff because I know it's like it's a game that keeps going on, but I don't know. I don't know if Square Enix is the one supporting the community though. I think it's the community supporting the community. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I don't know what they fuck what they fucking do themselves. That's my question. Yeah, so like, what? I don't know. I don't think there's much community support there. I think it's just there's a community. But I don't think there's much support from from Square Enix itself, so that's why I definitely think yeah, I mean Apex would, would be the most likely. Unless there's like there's also these communities of the game, the other games that I don't know about, so whatever. 
Also, if you're going into accessibility, Apex is free. And can go bro. <laughs> what kind of gun goes bro? Imagine you get shot and the gun oh, goes bro. Apex guns do. How, 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 how humiliating of a death that must be. Bro, you're dead. Just right. a very, very quick machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Ram. Drum roll, please get shot. I don't know if this gun is trying to seduce me or shoot me. <laughs> what is <laughs> yeah. now? Next well, category. Oh no! Skip that one. No, oh, we're doing it. Best we're doing it. We're not doing. Are we it. doing live? No, I refuse. What is it? Welcome everyone to the category best mobile game for the best game playable on a mobile device. As if that wasn't shirt. fucking obvious. <laughs> and the nominees are. No, don't read them out. Uh, the Disney movie Fantasia from 1997 uh, by this <laughs> <laughs> uh, Genshin Impact Not- uh, League of Legends the Netflix series <laughs> um, uh, the, the, the entire MCU and <laughs> Pikachu sellout it's not just Pikachu there's also Skull oh. Bunny and Talonflame yeah, I mean, and the and Sydney that Opera in the background. That Pikachu's wearing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Skinwalkers. Pikachu's human-shaped well. mech suit. <laughs> it's, 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 it's an it's an accessibility device, like a wheelchair. <laughs> I mean, right, I don't. I'm not a fucking no. Mobile game can suck my dick. I have no opinion on this subject. I think Genshin Impact's going to win. Yeah, but I, mean, I did vote for Pokemon Unite. Pokemon tonight. <laughs> Pokemon tonight. Pokemon. That's the that's the that's the uh, Reddit R version. Is Pokemon Unite just describing what they do at the Pokemon Daycare Center? Pokemon Unite is the League of Legends v- version of Pokemon. Huh. So it's sprinkled with salt. Yeah. Salt. <laughs> salt. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Yeah. To uh, best indie game for outstanding creative and technical achievement in a game made outside the traditional publisher system, which is bullshit because we have four games not self published. Wow. <laughs> That's Three uh... of them by Devolver Digital. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, no. Two are just Devolver. One is Devolver Digital. The, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I didn't know there were two companies. I swear you got that intern. Um, so the nominees <laughs> are 12 Minutes by uh, Luis Antonio, published by Annapurna Interactive. Dev Store, uh, developed by Asset Nerve and published by Devolver Digital. Inscription, uh, returning once again. Uh, Kina, Bridge of Spirits, we're also returning, and a Loop Hero, published by Devolver and developed by Four Quarters. Is I don't think a game needs that... to be... Oh, sorry, go on. No, no, go on. I was going to say, I don't think a game needs to be self-published to be classed as indie, though. Yeah, but I, I was talking about like the, the blurb below the title. Made outside of the traditional yeah, but it's made outside. System. Yeah, but it's uh, made outside of the traditional... <sighs> it, it was made outside of it, it was just... Also, Devolver is not a triple A company. I mean, it doesn't have to be triple A or A. I do believe there is such a thing as triple A indie games, but the, 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 it's just a box blurb that annoys me. I mean, yeah. We're so, getting far off the point here, aren't we? What did, what did everyone vote for? Why don't you go first instead of getting everyone else to go first? Okay. Yeah, present your work to the cart. <laughs> No, I refuse. I'm getting into the top five mode, so I'm getting used to telling, asking people. Uh, I voted for 12 minutes. I would have voted for Kenna, Kina, Kuana, Kuella, Kuana. Jeff Keighley, Jeff Keneally. Moana, um, Bridge of Spirit. <laughs> Moana, <laughs> Bridge of Spirit. Um, but I voted for 12 minutes because it's very Keanu, unique. Keanu, Bridge of Spirits? <laughs> oh. <laughs> is, that, is that where you have to get the revenge because somebody shot your dog? Ah. No, they just took your silver hand. Oh. Um, no, no, this is uh, the game is about um, uh, guiding Cyberpunk 2077 to, to the other side so you can finally fucking die. <laughs> um, no, I've been here for 12 minutes because it's, 
It's unique. Short. It's really unique. <laughs> It's short. It's short. <laughs> yeah, wow. It's it over just in takes a, 12 minutes to play. It's, a, it's, a, it's over in about 11 minutes. Damn. Well, I also voted for 12 minutes because, I mean, I haven't played anything of this list. Oh, okay, cool. Well, well, that's Bram. Um, Woo! Get Bram! That's the one I'm looking forward to the most to playing out of those games when I actually can have a computer that I'm can actually play through, games. I'm scrolling through the website for Loop Hero and I do not like this website. What is Loop Hero? Yeah. Why is, it, why is Helsing on it, the cover? It does not look like a game that should win this award. <laughs> oh, spicy. Oh, it's I not will... the game I thought it was. I thought it was that, like, you know the Temple Runner one? Hmm. Like Griff, Indiana Jones on steroids? To the, I'm sending you a link to the website. Just slowly scroll through it. I mean, I think those Temple Runner games aren't even video Ooh. games. Ooh. I mean, you, you, it's basically you walk around a pixelated path and fight wanna, things. Don't want to gate That's keep, it. But I mean, at that point. Oh, now there's a video. This is the weirdest fucking website I've ever been to. You've been to my wow. website. And if you keep scrolling down, I mean, you've been to the Game the Awards path. website, so don't lie. Oh my god, it just goes on forever. Yeah. I mean, yeah, loops, right, anyway, it? anyway. Kind of the uh, point. <laughs> what did uh, Connor or Weird vote for? I voted for Death Store. Nice. Uh, I went for Bridge of Spirits. Oh, so you went for Keanu. Okay. Keanu, yeah, I, yeah. Keanu Reeves. I just want to kill Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> what um, do we think is going to win, though? I think Death Store. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of people playing Death Store recently, yeah. just out of nowhere. Well, it recently, like last week, released on PlayStation. Oh, uh, okay. Also, with 12, 12 minutes, I know it was a really good game. I know you enjoyed it, but it didn't last very long. Like, it was popular for maybe <laughs> a couple of days and then. 12 minutes sounds like the radar long entirely. enough to me. <laughs> like, it, it, it lasted maybe 12 hours in people's minds and then went off the radar. And then threw you out of the house without even money for an Uber. Whereas Death Door, I'm constantly seeing people playing it on Twitch and stuff. Yeah. True. So I think that's, that, that makes the most sense. Like, there's a lot of people playing it. So. That's a good point. I think that's that's potentially... Even with the fact that it's not really the same audience that votes for it, it's still potentially feel like that's the, a big chance that it's going to be that story, yeah. Okay, that story. Interesting, interesting. The right. next category, please. Next category. Next category. Which takes us to best oh, ongoing game. Category number nine, please. <laughs> Awarded to a game <laughs> for nine. outstanding development of ongoing number content that evolves the player experience over time. We have a lot of returning uh, contenders here. Uh, Apex Legends, Ooh. Final Fantasy IV, Team... F- 14, Jesus Christ. Uh, Fortnite, Genshin Impact, and new coming in is Call of Duty Warzone by Infinity Ward, Raven, and Activision. Fuck you, Activision! Fuck you, Activision. <laughs> Fuck Warzone. Um... Yeah. I voted nah, for Apex. Yeah, like, I voted for Apex because my other reasons when I voted for it the previous time. Also, fuck you, Activision. <laughs> fuck you, Activision. <laughs> fuck you, Activision. Also, yeah. fuck you, China, so I'm not voting for Genshin. <laughs> yeah. What okay. the hell? That's, that's, a, that's a separate thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about sexual harassment, but God, I was talking about something else. I'm talking about communism. Uh, communism. Um... <laughs> Hmm. Let's. Um, I, I guess. I guess. The I guess Fortnite could here. win because Fortnite is still ongoing, <laughs> and they do constantly push out new people you can have a skin on. Yeah, but that's uh, the yeah. popularity oh, uh, way. Wait, they, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're constantly skinning new people. <laughs> <for that. laughs> it's like, oh yeah, Epic Games. Every time you walk past their office, you just see a skinned person being kicked out of a window. Oh no. They oh, just no. take their skin and they kick them out of the They got like one. all the ah, Marvel so that actors. explains who Pikachu's wearing now. Oh! Trust me. Trust me. My uni is sponsored by Epic Games. I constantly see people being skinned alive. Oh. <laughs> is it like a oh. Hunger Games kind of situation or what are you doing? Please pronounce this. Oh no. Well, it's a battle royale, no. isn't it? No, it's consensual. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. What? Consensual skinning. 
Uh, anyway, next category. <laughs> um, I feel like there's easier way to I want this to be over now, please. <laughs> what, the skinning? I believe most people we, would. Well, we um, didn't predict what was gonna win, though. I, I, Bam, do you really fucking care? No, I think really. Apex Legends is going to win. I hope. For the more cherry assistant at Epic. <laughs> I mean, it... I think a lot of people switched from, like, Fortnite and Warzone to a- Apex. Fuck that's you, why, Activision. That's why the game, the matches become so toxic. A lot of wankers. Um, whatever, yeah, let's move to the next thing. To something interesting. Yes. Ooh, we're on the category games for, games for impact uh, for a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message. Is Genshin Which, in there? Uh, no, we have all Get new the- contenders in this category. Uh, which is Before Your Eyes by Goodbye World Games and Skybound Games. We have Boyfriend Dungeon by Kid Fox Games. We have <laughs> Chicory, A Colorful Tale by more people than I could possibly ever name today. Um, <laughs> Life is Strange True Colors by uh, my friends over at Deck9. Um, and No Longer Home by Humble Grove and quite a few people again. There's like a lot of uh, individual developers in this category. I don't necessarily know that last game at all. No, I don't either. Hmm. What? Did everyone I mean, vote let's, We don't need to beat around the bush. You all know what I voted for. What did you Wait, vote why for? Why would you vote for Boyfriend Dungeon? That's because I want one. Why do you want... <laughs> I. Why do you want a what, fuck What, a dungeon swords? or a boyfriend? <laughs> or a boyfriend dungeon? I, I, just, I just want a sword I can talk to. Oh. Um, so you, you, you don't talk to a penis? What? <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. I mean, hold on, let's unpack the statement. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I call games. my cock a sword. <laughs> and you talk to it. <laughs> if you don't... If you don't yeah. stand back, I will unsheath my piece. <laughs> <laughs> <Ching>. Draw. <laughs> you, your dick uh, just makes a metallic sound. <laughs> <laughs> like grip, gr- grip, grip, like every night before he goes... Before he goes to bed, Griff like takes a wet stone and then like, shh, 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 <laughs> it's like meta- it's like the most hardcore condom you could possibly find. <laughs> yeah. uh, so weird. Why did you vote for Life is Strange too, Colin? I challenged you to a duel, Maximum Cross the, <laughs> the face. Um. Anyway, Life is Strange. <laughs> yeah, it is. Especially it if you really is. Creative. Exactly. I do imagine it would be rather of a strange situation. Yeah, life is strange. Um, Sorry, I have no idea what words you've just said. <laughs> life is strange to colors. The new game by Deck Nine Entertainment. Um, <laughs> Hashtag sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored, but God, sponsored I wish. Sponsored by Deck Nine. Um, yeah, I think they, they. Life is strange to colors is somewhat different from previous Life is Strange games, oh, but God, yeah. the main parts of it, atmosphere. Soundtrack and characters, they killed it. I loved it. The story no is very impactful. Yes, absolutely. And and the gameplay with it being all emotion based is literally for impact. Exactly. <laughs> also, the soundtrack, the licensed soundtrack, is on another level this time. Mm. They got covers and originals from so many well-known bands. They had. Radio had, they had Kings of Leon, they had local natives, they had Girl in Red, they had Agnes Obel, they had everyone. Hmm. Brilliant. So you liked it, yeah? No. <laughs> oh. No, a disgusting game. How dare <laughs> anyone like that it? That just reminds me of how video games used to have like soundtracks that actually consisted of like music, like existing songs. Like you, it, it, it seems like a dimin- diminishing thing, right? So. I guess that's I mean, a... they, they, the the game had a DLC which is literally about the soundtrack because you play Steph Gingrich, which is like uh, working as a DJ, and you actually get to pick which music is playing on your radio station. Brilliant! They they had uh, Portugal the Man in there. Like, oh my what? god! Hmm. He's a weird like vice, loves life is strange. Hey Connor, what do you vote for? Life is strange. Hey, Brown, what'd you vote for? My boy. I voted for Boyfriend Dungeon. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I voted for Life is Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be a full house. I just... 
You know, I just... From ruining it. <laughs> Damn it. Change your vote right now. <laughs> Do it. Coward. Do it. Do it. I mean, I don't, I don't like the type of games that have, like, low on, on, on gameplay, so I've never been a fan of Life is Strange. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Why would I vote for it, then? I think, I think, I think you're killing weird. Yeah, he is dying right in front of us. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? I think Life is Strange will win. Yeah, probably. Yeah, as it should. I mean, it's the biggest <laughs> name. Uh, let me just write this down. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, next, 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 next. You really had to strain to write that one down, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah. He's dyslexic after all. Hey, speaking of um, uh, Life is Strange. <laughs> Next category brings us Best Performance. Awarded mm. to an individual for voice over acting, motion, and or performance capture. And the very mm. first nominee is uh, Erica Mori, which is voicing and I believe also mocapping Alex Chen from Life is Strange True Colors. Then we have uh, Giancarlo Esposito, uh, which we've already mentioned is playing uh, Anton Castillo from Far Cry 6, the main villain. We have mm -hmm. uh, Jason Kelly as Cole Vaughn from uh, Deathloop. We have Maggie Robertson as uh, Lady Dimitrescu, the walking meme of Resident Evil Village. <laughs> and I hope I don't butcher this name. Uh, was Yoma Akaga? I hope that's yes. what that sounds. Yes, that uh, sounds right. Juliana Blake, um, the Deuteragonist, you could say, from Deathloop. Once again, so two nominees for Deathloop right here. Hmm. Of course, I, I really like this category because it's not always game focused, but it's actually like yeah, valuing people that worked on, on it. Yeah. 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 This is where it's a bit too much like the Oscars. Oh. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I, I, I do think that the performance needs to be voted for. They should have more, they should have more for performance within yes. the Game Awards because. A lot of games yeah, aren't agreed. enjoyable games without the people who have dedicated their time towards it. And also, yeah. I think they shouldn't just have best performance. They should have best supporting. Or b yeah, they should have best performance supporting. Well. Yeah. It's, uh, like, also, best one. director. True. I voted for, uh, I voted for the, the big vampire lady. I, too, voted for the big vampire lady. I, too, voted for big vampire lady. Sebastian, if you dare fucking vote for Life is Strange, I was just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, Connor just brought across as much emotion as Mer Erica Mori brought over in Life is Strange, which I voted for. Um, I think she did an excellent think, job. I think, honest to God, I think uh, Lady Dimitres might win. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It would be weird if Giancarlo. I won think the like, meme might win out in the game. So I mean, I think the meme might win out this one. Yeah, it could be. You know who I really to... wanted to see here? Katie Benz or Steph Greenridge. I know again, life is strange, but Katie Benz is incredibly active in like the okay, video game world. Got two Deathloop people, so it that's makes true. Sense they could have had both. Yeah, and she does. Again, first, she's a really good supporting. voice actress. I know. Mm. Well, it's just best performance, right? I think best. They they should have it so it's like best main performance, so yeah. it's a character that you play as, and then best yeah. supporting, so it's absolutely like yeah. Or oh, best game. game character True. performance, and then best supporting character. Yeah. Technically, you could even vote for best characters without the performance part behind it, as in writing, character design. There's a lot of opportunities missed within the game awards. Yeah, and a lot um, of stupid shit that's not interesting. That's actually uh, Kira Knightley. If you're listening, um, <laughs> which we know you're not, uh, could you just take some of these notes down, please? Thank you. I mean, even if it, even if it was, it was very confused by that. I mean, <laughs> no, no, Kira knows who he is. No, but he he does have a point. Um, some of these categories are way too in depth, and some of them are not even scratching the surface. Mm, agreed. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Best action slash adventure and then best action. Fuck off. Just like pick one and leave it there. I'm fine with having those split, but why would you have like, what was it, five categories for best esports when you're just going to dish them out? Because like as a, as a sub sentence? The, uh, the uh, flatulent penis of their sponsors. Yeah, but they are only like offhandedly mentioning it anyway. 
You might as well introduce but, more categories that actually have a meaning. <laughs> Did you say flatulent penis as in like a farting penis? <laughs> yes, Bram, I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> The <sighs> is this another warrior wheel reference? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Resident Evil Village Lady is gonna win. Yeah. Warrior definitely has a flatulent penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Next category. We are on the category of voice acting. How the fuck did we get to warrior's penis? <laughs> I just warrior's, like, Any this, fucking like, thing. Where is warrior's like, voice actor? I'm just Anything imagining Mario has like holes in his penis, enough. and if he if he covers the holes with his fingers, it makes like different notes come out, like when he farts. <laughs> what, like um, like uh, the Ocarina of Time. Ah yeah. uh, yes. Da, 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 my da, 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 Ocarina da, 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 dick. Blow on my dick. Ocarina dick. Oh my god. <laughs> Farting out my dick. Okay, uh, sir. Turns out my dick's a flute. Link, this dick has been in our <laughs> possession for generations. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Yeah, every time. Link speaking of flute, dick, it's actually just sucking a dick. Yeah, speaking of dick and flutes, <laughs> that's not your design. The the fucking verb text just gets worse and worse. Recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design. What else are you judging? Um, pa- imperative to a uh, platform. Thank you. It yeah. doesn't say that. Where's the qualifier? Like that. <laughs> I don't know what what you're talking about now. Kegel. <laughs> oh my god. And the nominees are all returning, as we've all previously seen them Deathloop, Forza Horizon 5, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Rip the Fart, uh, Resident Evil Village, <laughs> and Returnal. I think these are, we've got to that point now where you're going to start seeing some games really pop up quite a lot in the yeah. I last mean, uh, but, last six but, categories. Does the, does the car go in the right way? Yeah, I, I actually voted for Forza Horizon Five. Wow, I voted for <laughs> not just because car, not not because car go but also they've got really really good uh, radio station soundtracks. Oh, but that's different. That's score. Yeah, that's, it, it's that's, audio. I mean, I voted for <laughs> Resident all, Evil. It all uses the audio medium. <laughs> they don't have a best score in a video game as a category. Um, I, have the I, best like, I like how Batman. the zombies sound and how crunchy Con- the sound of the them in Resident Evil. What's so the I next mean, category? I guess. Shut. Shut. Spoilers. <laughs> shut. Just shut. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't realize they had the best score. I don't want to say. Shush. I don't want to say moron. So let me just say this. You fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I. So arrogant. Ugh. But I bet for Forza because cargo <laughs> And also, I have played a lot of Forza, and it does sound very, very much like it puts you into the right space of the car in the environment. And the Good. I don't want to be put into the, the space of a car, and it's probably dangerous. Um, I mean, I voted. Oh no! Oh, bram, bram, bram. I mean, you know what I voted for? I just said it, but I mean, it's uh, we we like the sound of the the zombies. <laughs> no, you like the sound of big, big zombie ladies chasing you down B- marble big mommy staircases. Milkers. I mean, you don't, you don't hear the sound of the flopping boobs. I mean, Miss <laughs> just thankfully, the of, uh, as she <laughs> steps on you, crunching your bones into dust. Oh, Damn. say it again. Don't threaten me with your time. <laughs> I guess the audience just came. <laughs> Um, I voted for Ratchet and Clank because some of those guns, and Weird should agree with me, some guns of those guns pew, pew. sound amazing. Yeah, guns go pew pew. pew, 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 pew. They don't go burr. No, they don't go burr. Oh, one of them goes burr. Because it's like one of them goes, goes burr. <laughs> one, of the, one, of, one of them grows insert tree growing noise. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to do. But oh, that's then what it came out as... It's, it's, see, I thought that was the sprinkler one that turned people into ice. Ooh. I mean, normally trees go so, so slowly that we don't know nice. what they even sound like. <laughs> no, the Ratchet and Clank guns are beautiful. They're so good. And also your jet boots. Oh. And also, Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just Clank just kept going, Ratchet or... Um, Rivet. Okay, I'll change Rivet. my vote to Ratchet and Clank because ra- ra- uh, Clank is a noise and it's for best audio to say. <laughs> <laughs> Clank is a noise. <laughs> Wow, just, we just the clank yes. sound. <laughs> clank. Okay, clank. sure, cargo, but clank. Clank or ratchet. Clank, clank or ratchet. 
I mean, Clank is a We have right collectively lost the only brain cell we're currently all sharing. <laughs> yeah, did someone drop it on the floor? I can't find it. My glasses! My glasses! <laughs> I might have dropped in my coffee, I'm sorry. God damn, that's why I'm so hyper right now, caffeine. <laughs> God damn it, we haven't... We uh, haven't what even... do you guys think will win? I, I think Deathly might win. We haven't even gotten to, par- to potential announcements yet, Jesus. <laughs> this is a oh, long God, one. So stuffy. Um, I think Deathly might win. I don't know why, I just get that feeling. Hmm. Griff feels it in his loins. I, I do, it's in my loins. I can't even give any reason, I just... Loins, definitely. Yes, I think maybe. Loins. I mean, last, <laughs> maybe last, loins. Last year, oh, good. I, <laughs> last year I had like a clear favorite, and I also knew that it was like good, good win because I was Ghost of Shishima. Um, but this oh, time, you had Ghost of the Team. Wow, Ghost of Kojima, the sushi ghost. <laughs> I think maybe. I think maybe Ratchet and Clank could potentially. Did Jeff Keighley finally kill him? <laughs> I was about to do a Canadian accent, but I can't. Do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. So- sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> J- just let's go to the Pork Stars play. <gasps> Ooh, sure. Let's go to the Pork. Ratchet. Right. <laughs> Clang. Ratchet. Ratchet. Anyway, next category. category. I would advise against that. <laughs> Um, Next category is best score in music, and I got to say, somebody's breaking the Geneva Conventions here. Oh, 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 interesting. What is it? I know. We have Cyberpunk on this list, and as I've just dramatically explained, the best licensed soundtrack of the year is Absent. Ooh. Oh wait, a, a wait! Weird... Don't say it. I've got to guess which game you mean. Uh, wait, list off the games first. Weird, well, weird, the weird, current weird. nominees for outstanding music, inclusive of score, original song, and/or licensed soundtrack is *The Outfall Escape*, *Cyberpunk 2077*, *Deathloop*, *Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy*, and the new one, the remake of *Near Replicant* by uh, Keiichi Okabe as the composer. Oh, I know what game he means. He didn't say the full name of *Near Replicant*. Near Replicant version 1224744871139. Weird. <laughs> Call play. Weird. It's the we best can... soundtrack of all of the uh, entire year, Astro's Playroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, His silence speaks for him. Hey, hey. Have you, you guys, uh, do you guys there are two games <laughs> missing! Do you guys know why <laughs> Cyberpunk is here on this list? Wait, so what game do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. We no, were talking about it five from... minutes ago! Oh, I thought um, you were going to say Persona Oh, 5. is it Cargo Vroom? What?! <laughs> is it the Cargo Vroom No, he's game? talking about Life is Strange. Oh, Life is Strange. Jesus oh, Life is Strange. Go cool about that game. I mean... I, I Kings of Leon! I say Persona 5. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it's... it's uh, I don't know. It's still a I voted thing, for the Artful was... Escape. Yeah, I, I think I, I voted Same for the Outfall Escape, but uh, but do you want to know why why uh, why Cyberpunk is on this list? No, because <laughs> the audio is the only thing that works in the fucking game. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had audio glitches in the game ever, so I mean, <sighs> didn't play gotta give him that. There's no audio glitches. Hot damn. Honestly, we could replace Death Loot. Uh, De- Death Loot. Death Loot. Death, <laughs> Death Loot. Is this another warrior penis joke? Um, <laughs> we could replace Death Loop and Cyberpunk easily with Life is Strange and Astro's Playroom. I really Hands want down. a loot that can cause people to die now, like the musical instrument loot. Oh, that's a bit dark. The rest is like perfect pipe, pipe of, but death. <laughs> I, mean. um, I voted for Guardians of the Galaxy. I voted for Artful Escape because it's literally a game that revolves around music. Same. I hate that he looks like me. I hate him. Same. Griff has this weird bias. I, just, I don't know what it is. Well, I do. Griff has a is. weird bias against himself. <laughs> it's like looking at a mirror and I want to punch it. <sighs> yeah, but Sorry. Griff, you, you look like that uh, stereotypical Disney male character. Oh, God, it got worse. I mean, yeah, you do look like the character from Onward. 
Oh my god, I get not it, I'm just, generic, shut up! Not just Onward, but literally any character who has the curly brown hair and... Okay, okay, <laughs> okay guys, I, hearing you down and clear, I'll get a new fucking hairstyle. <laughs> just oh, is he gonna go Vin fine. Diesel bald? Oh. How I much mean, do I, I, hate I, I don't think bald riff, riff, riff. Riff. If, if you change your hairstyle, like, maybe change it to something that can't be controlled by a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Slinguini proof. <laughs> that's why Vin, that's why Vin Diesel shaved all his hair off. He saw the film had to do and he went, fuck no. I mean, Vin Diesel looks like Mickey Mouse to me, but I still don't know why the fuck that is same, a thing. Same with The Rock. They hate each other, but they, they, they both saw what to do and they were like, yeah, I'm not getting controlled by a rodent and just got the nearest shaper and just shaved all the hair off. Can we just point out that uh, the love <laughs> interest I mean, from Ratatouille... The Rock has curly hair. That's, I mean, the, the, the love interest... has curly hair, though. So, yeah. I mean, oh, oh. have you ever met a submissive bald person? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You about to... So, the love interest from Ratatouille, right, was clearly wearing the pants in the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. What happens if she pulls Remy's hair? <laughs> uh, Five course meal? Start, Murder? What's up? She, he, she, he just kicks her in the vajayjay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends which hair strand she pulls. It's I mean, true. If she, if she oh pulls God. Like, different hair... Armpit! Like if she, Armpit! <laughs> if she pulls the right hairs, like maybe eventually when when she's done, like she just like can collapse in the bed and there's like a dinner there for her. <laughs> I mean, technically she she could control his hands. True. Anyway, let's what not, what let's is get the, off of the topic of yeah. What uh, do people think we're gonna, is gonna win? The Ratatouille soundtrack. I think. <laughs> I'm being arrogant. Hope, I'm gonna say my game, Guardians. I hope either Artful Escape or Guardians. Yes. Yeah. But I like the near soundtrack. Fans. Life is Strange should have been here. Astor should have been here. You're all wrong. Everything's rigged. Jeff no, Keighley's right gone. Too, because the I was PS2 playing an intense have been here. battle of of Guardians. I was playing a very intense moment in the game, and. Suddenly, um, don't worry. The song, you know, don't don't worry, came on over this intense battle, and I cried laughing. And that video is on Twitter, and you can go and watch it. It's fucking hilarious. So I think so. I think Guardians could win, but if they but they could also just want to pat themselves on the back and be like, oh, we voted for it in the end, and they could vote for. Uh... No, no, no. So so the thing is, I was gonna say so I was I was gonna say this, but I'm not because it's a bit of a spoiler. But they didn't just get licensed music; they created. They created like a full on. Oh, I don't want to say too much. Griff, you can. Even a spoiler. Yeah, I think it's public. I think they published. Well, I don't know if they published it. I know at least because I. But I they read like the press created releases. a full fictional band that they played off as realistic, which yeah. I which I thought were real, and made like a full album. Their band is called Star Wars. They didn't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Next he's... year, Splatoon 2 better be in this category because they have literally like 20 different fictional bands within the universe. Roger that. We'll keep an eye out for it then. Riff, if they ever make a movie out of The Artful Escape. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Griff should play that role. Yeah, Griff. I, I want you to say Griff should and play the guitar. Me. It's just me just <laughs> like strings from head to toe. Like, yeah, just yeah. you playing the guitar. You're not playing the role of the character. Playing the guitar, you're just playing the guitar. Yeah, I'm playing the guitar. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're just like ding, 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 it's ding, just like ding, a stop. Yeah, yeah. When they pull a string, right. it's just a, it's just a it's just like your that. voice. Ding, 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 oh, I thought that, like Griffin was gonna dress up as a guitar. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> I'm the guitar. Still, we yeah, get it. I'm the cosplay. guitar. <laughs> yeah, pluck me and I play guitar. something. Wait, does that mean that Griff, like if Griff gets to dress up as a guitar, does he have to grow out his hair so he can like? Tie his hair strands to his toes so it looks like strings. <laughs> no, we can just uncurl his hair and we'll already be long enough. He I turns think, into the only that. Thing uh... I don't have that he's wearing in that shot is the grey shirt. That's the only thing I don't have. Yeah, Everything else I have. Griff just so, turns into the umbrella. Um, gay shirt. What's a grey shirt? Isn't he wearing a grey shirt? <laughs> <laughs> the gay shirt. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> it is a oh, it geisha. Is a... Oh, fuck off, Bram. No, it is a great button-up shirt. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I need uh, yeah, Gr- Griff just turns into the Umpa Loompa where the hair is far too overgrown and he ties it to uh, his yeah. so you can click it. A gay bottom shirt. Okay, got it. Next category. Okay, next, next category, please. How next long have we been going yeah. for? Uh, two hours. Two hours and ten minutes. Okay, come Welcome. on. Welcome. <laughs> hey, best art direction for outstanding creative and or technical achievement in the artistic design and animation. I believe we've seen all of the nominees so far already, which are Diablo Escape. Oh, hey, Griff. What are you doing here? Mm-hmm. Fuck off. Uh, Deathloop, Bridge of Spirits, Psychonauts 2, and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Okay, I'm just going to straight up say Psychonauts 2. Like, that game is yeah. fucking bonkers. It's I mean, got some it seriously well. wild art direction. I feel like it's yeah, so Diablo Escape. that it's the best. I think I could, like, it could also win, though. With that. Just because it's bonkers doesn't mean it's the best. It does. No, it doesn't. It does. I literally study games art. <laughs> You're wrong. Connor, you didn't even know there was a category for best score. How can I trust your opinions? But I don't I don't I don't study music. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an excuse. Griff, you are well, in I'm the sorry game. that you I should... forgot that there was a category in this. Wait, what did you just say, Wit? What? What did you just say? Nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If only I could play this back. Oh, wait! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought you said you wanted to edit this, so I mean, at that point. Yeah, yeah so you'd exactly. Have listen, you'd have to listen to everyone's perspectives. Griff, in the edit, are you having fun? No. Yeah, okay. Griff, in the edit, make sure you're hydrate and posture check. And also... <laughs> Fuck you, I'm actually going to click my back now. Um, and uh, could you remember to water the pot plants, please, if you're doing this at work? Thank you. With the pot plants? I didn't water the pot plants at went today and I kept lamenting. Oh no, they're gonna shrivel up and die. Yeah. Why the time you finish no. editing no, is a problem? Not yet, no. No, I just agreeing with you. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't for it. I was good. What, are you trying to kill my pot plant children at work? I'm not I'm not about plant homicide. Ah, direction. Well, currently. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, this doesn't have any direction of this conversation. No. Hey! Yeah, we were now talking about plant parenthood. Do, 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 do. I right, will anyway, go jump two. That should win. I have a bias. You I did vote for Psychonauts 2. I, I, <laughs> I, I <laughs> Hold on, <that. laughs> oh, so I got given grief and then you fucking swoop in. <laughs> Good grief. I think Ratchet and Clank might win though because it was a very, very creative art direction within that. True, true. We- weird voted for Ratchet and Clank, didn't you? Nope. K- Kenna has a nice. You, you voted like, for the art for Escape? Yeah. Well, it's got art in the name, Graf. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, damn it. That actually, amazing. they should be so, they should be actually uh, disqualified because they have art in the title. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart has also art in the title. <laughs> oh my god, it does. <laughs> it does yeah, at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. So Psychonauts 2. Doesn't have art yeah. in the title. <laughs> exactly, so... His orts, his orts. <laughs> orts. If you rearrange the I, I, I am studying for me most of orts. <laughs> if you rearrange the letters of kind of British spirit, you can make the word art. <laughs> if you just spell it wrong enough. <laughs> <laughs> what are we on about? I don't know. Bram, what did you vote for? I, I already said that I voted for psychonauts, right? Oh. Okay. Yeah, bookie word. See? Sorry. Psychonauts? <laughs> Psychonauts. Psychonauts. It's a go- it's a game about balls. What do you guys think will win? I think Psychonauts two might win. I think Psychonauts or Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Or Kenner. Or definitely. Or Alpha Escape. No, no I don't. Escape. Escape. I, Fuck the Oscar Escape. I don't think Alpha Escape or Death Loop have a great art direction. Mm. Yeah. Or they're not popular enough to win the category. Hot True. take. Hot take. Hmm. Weird. Like, yes. the Games Not Awards are basically a popularity contest. Weird, next I mean, oh, I mean, they are a popularity category, contest, weird. but like we said, next between, like, next category, please. not necessarily yes, between the, the, the game playing audience, audience, but more of, like, the people of, who yes, work at, yes, like, Why are we doing this while Bram is talking? Companies. Next category, please. We're the ones who are going to win the best audio direction. Yeah, because we all whisper. ASMR know. is the best audio. Call me. <laughs> Do you have a brain burner yet? 
because the next thing one watch it well I'll be whispering this don't here. actually don't actually call wait please yes do call me I'm very lonely speaking of anyway best watch. narrative uh, <laughs> The best narrative is us trying to find the date. <laughs> it's also he completely lost to... the narrative of this fucking trailer. Also, it's us yeah. trying to get to the end of this list of 25 fucking characters. Well, we are in the last three. I don't think this podcast has a narrative anymore. Oh no. my god, this has been going on forever. It yeah, this podcast doesn't have a narrative Because we're very anymore. artsy people. Best narrative. I want Stenic storytelling and narrative development in a game. God, I need to go pee. Um, oh god. <laughs> I believe, again, we have all returning contenders. Deathloop. It Takes Two, Life is Strange Two Colors, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, and Psychonauts 2. Bram, what do you vote for? I think, uh, even though I didn't, never, I didn't play any of these games, I think I just voted for uh, uh, It Takes Two, because the story seems the most interesting. It takes two, baby. You've sung so many songs today, Griff. <laughs> yeah. Have I? Stop it. Yeah. Get some help. Wait, where, what else have I sung? Uh, let's go to the mall. You sang um, other ones that I can't think of the name of right oh, now, yeah. but you did. <laughs> I'm just very tuneful today. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. What you vote? Weird. Do you vote for? Do you vote for the best game of all time, Deathloop? <laughs> when? Oh, I mean, hold on. Why did Deathloop get so many nominations? I don't, I don't know. know. Hmm. Bribes. Bribes. <laughs> Okay. Bribes and <laughs> bribes and boobs, bribes and oh. boobs. Is there boobs in the game? Ooh. I don't know. I'm pretty it's sure all of these games have boobs. I hope Dick Takes Two doesn't have boobs. <laughs> There's a woman in the game. Yeah. Oh yes, it has boobs. Okay, then it doesn't have titties. Uh. <laughs> what? So I hope. That's the Does Psychonauts Two have titties? Isn't it? I mean, the first one had you going to, like, a, a dentist. What if this one has a plastic surgeon? I don't know. I probably haven't played it. What do you think Mar- Guardians has any titties? Gamora. It's got no Gamora. alien titties. And Drax, <laughs> if you count that. Oh, there might be some alien titties. Pam <laughs> <laughs> said it like that. I like the word titties. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, I voted for Life is Strange. So uh, what do you think Jeff oh titties will man. say? It's... Life is Strange is good for the narrative. It's got really good storytelling in that game. Yes, it does. But does that have to I, I do agree content? with you. I do agree with you that Life is Strange has a really good narrative. So I did good. vote for it. Takes two as well. It takes two. Because it, it's the most grounded narrative, and I think it's more well written than. I love Life how you say that's the most grounded narrative. A story about people turning into toys, but life is strange. And what about tra- a tragedy? No, no, no. I occurring? mean, tra- I, I'm not on about the, the bit of it being about toys. I'm saying about the divorce, um, the mummy and daddy don't the, love the each other anymore. And and the relationship between the two characters and how it's affecting the child, right? And sure, how the parents course. are mistaken in how it, how they need to help the situation and, and drugs. The child. Thought say yes, Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> also, weird, creepy Spanish book. But... Is it Spanish? I don't know. I I think he is. It's like I four think... different nationalities. Is, isn't that book just voiced by the guy who uh, actually, like, the developer of the game? <laughs> I don't know. I'll Google that. Oh, wait. Then, wait. The, the fuck the Oscars guy? Yeah. What? Or am I wrong? Oh no, I don't Googling, don't listen to him until I have confirmed uh Oh it's already in my head narrative, I tell you that might <laughs> If it, What if do it, you guys it, think will win? Life is strange. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think it may win, yeah. I mean if it's about who will win, I mean that's probably yeah. Because like all the Life is Strange games are about the story, so I think more people will vote for it because of that. I mean, it's not about the gameplay, it's about the story. Well, so, sometimes it's about the gameplay, like the powers that you can have over the world. Yeah. Yeah, like Life is Strange 2, with the power of having a little brother. <laughs> <laughs> and Life is Strange Before the Storm, with the power of... Speaking. <laughs> anyway! It's a power you can have over the world, not... Oh no, the guy who voiced Cody is the guy who did the book as well. 
not the uh, director. Damn. Aww. God damn it. We uh, but what's the name of the director again? Sorry, I, I forgot about it. Joseph Faris? Joseph, if you're hearing this, I want you to voice any character. Doesn't matter who. Just do it, man, and put the line fuck the Oscars in there. four times. Yeah, but I want him to develop his own game and put himself in it. It sounds like something he would do. I think, best narrative, I think Definite might win this one. Hmm. Maybe. Who knows? Who does know? Apart from us, in a couple of weeks' time. <laughs> I mean, I guess... Uh, I don't know. Are the results already known? Did they really wait for the audience? Like, the 5%? My pen's out of bloody ink. Why are you writing in blood? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. When do you think they vote for this, actually? Um, before the award ceremony? The yeah, first when, full like, night. Because the, imagine that like they vote now or something, and and it's, there's like something that's like the difference between the games is so big that like the audience participation doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> right, uh, wait. Okay, let's face it. With this next category, we will know we know full whale that whale whale full whale whale. whale. Full we know with absolute certainty that these four companies are bribing the game awards. Bethesda, yes, EA, Sony, and Xbox. We're on to you. We know it. <laughs> because the I mean, kind of is just best a game direction. Same games again and again. Yeah. Awards for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design are nominated to Death Loop, It Takes Two, Returnal, Psychonauts 2, and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Hmm. I Rancid voted Loss. for Ratchet and Clank because it's about the innovation in the game direction and yes. design, and Ratchet and Clank is the most innovative of the these ones. Yeah. I mean, yes. I feel it's yeah. the same, same. Same, same. What is Deathloop doing here? What is Deathloop doing here? Just it's being because there. it's time loop based. Fuck and off. everything changes each time you go round. How dare you? Because <laughs> that's very fucking original, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, no, no one told Bill Murray. <laughs> no one told Bethesda. No one told. Also, no one told Bethesda about Groundhog Day. Do you think I there's just like the... not a single person at Bethesda that play uh, that, that that watched Groundhog Day? No, nope. I think that's I think that's the biggest problem in in that loop. There's no Groundhog. Oh, otherwise it would oh. have been a good game. <laughs> yeah, otherwise that would have been the best it. game. Do we all vote for Ratchet and Clank? I think so. Yes. Spicy. Yeah, because it's about innovation. Interesting. Yeah. And it's the most innovative. Spicy, spicy. Okay. And also, um, the others... I think Ratchet and Clank might win that one as well. Ratchet. Yeah. Well, all the others have already had things that existed in the past. Yeah. True. Good point. Happiness. Oh I mean, God. and I is think there's it? also a big chance that oh, it may no, win. I know. Oh, is it now it? The next category is it. Oh my the God. next category is indeed it. Finally, we have it after achieved. fucking two hours and almost twenty-five wait, 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 fucking minutes. <laughs> now, the category that we've all been waiting for: best esports coach. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, and the nominees are XX Banana Boy XXX. <laughs> <laughs> Not Banana God. Boy again, Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I, I voted for Banana Boy. Best boy. <clears throat> no, we have finally. <laughs> we have arrived at the Game of the Year, of the Game Awards 2021. Recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. For some fucking reason, we have seen Deathloop once again. <laughs> well, it keeps Come going. on! It keeps looping. No. It keeps looping back to that loop. Just no. And we've also have, uh, in this category, It Takes Two, Metroid Red, Psychonauts 2, Russian and Clank Rift Apart, and Resident Evil. Before we I... say who we voted for, can we say who we think is going to win? Hmm. Do you want to do who who do we think is going to win first, and then say who we voted for? Jovkov. Yes. Jovkov wins. Jovs. Yeah, Jovkov wins. You know. What, you know what won with the golden joysticks? Resident Evil Village. I think Ratchet and Clank will win. Weirdly enough. I think Ratchet and Clank or Resident Evil, but I did vote for Metroid Dread. 
because it's the only one that I've actually played. I with. think Ratchet and Clank is probably going to win, but I uh, voted for Resident Evil Village. Because I enjoyed it the most. And I finished it like six times or something. Huh. Seven, Wait. maybe? No. Weird. Weird. Yes. Who did you vote? Uh, who do you think will win? It's the same thing I voted for, and you know which one that is. That okay, so... <laughs> is is he gonna kill you in your sleep? <clears throat> we'll find out. Yes, seize the asset, please. Hangs up. <laughs> FBI, open up! And do it, and do it again and again. She's we got a warrant. Oh, what? we don't need a warrant. We just have a kill license. What? What? I mean, you are all now on the most wanted. <laughs> um, like Quinn, I also think Ratchet and Crank will win, uh, and also voted for it. Ratchet, the Ratchet. true game of the year. Warrior, where is this? Crank say Ratchet. Ratchet, Ratchet and Wank. Ratchet. Oh, I don't believe dear. that would be the quest course of action. Um, right. Well done, chaps. We got through the list. Blimey, that took a lot. A long time. Now, I've got to ask everyone a question. No. Yes. That's that's <laughs> a difficult answer for the question I'm going to ask. Um, now, yeah. go ahead. do you guys think that this year's games were good? Like, was this a good year for the nominations? Like, were the nominations pretty decent? Or did it feel weak? I... A lot of the nominations I don't particularly agree with, but also... I mean, I did, was able to vote for everyone that I actually cared for. Hmm. That's true. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think I think there's probably some some. There's only one or weak... two that was difficult to vote on. There were some weak so, categories, um, but there were some. I mean, there some some of, of the categories it was easy to vote on because all the other games were shit in that category. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think some of the options were definitely like middling. So I don't know if it's necessarily the best edition or like the best year for gaming mm. so I mean yeah I think next year is going to be much more difficult because this year we're still suffering from the effects of COVID COVID okay. Jeff that, COVID. that brings us to like the, the interesting question as well for after this like uh, what does the future bring because there's going to be some announcements right probably something Elden Ring related because last time like Jeff Keighley got that Elden Ring thing last time so maybe they're still like hey uh we're gonna give the, give another nugget of this uh to uh, to jeff Keighley. so who knows maybe who? jeff what to... jeff covid 19 uh, jeff... <laughs> i know only uh go tonightly goof kaboof <laughs> okay jeff carry more uh, <laughs> <laughs> i also know jeff carry non well so, what what do you guys think is gonna? Keanu Keeves. Keanu Queefs? What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he does. I don't know. Never met him. Oh my god! <laughs> I kind of want you to just end it on that. I just want it to be the last thing. No, no because, because we need to. We need. There's one more thing that we need to do. Yeah, just like what do you think is gonna be announced at this uh, event? Yeah. Enhancement. This esteemed event. Um, I want Silk Song to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Connor has been waiting with bated breath for quite a while. I just want Silk Song news. I want an update on Arc Two. I don't want what? Arc Two, but you remember last year when they announced that Arc Two TV show? Oh, yeah, I want an just... update on Metroid Prime Four. Hmm. I just, I just want. To I want Knack Three. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I repeat, you think this joke's gone? It will never end. Well, we'll keep on going. Quick question. I want Rage 3. Do you believe we'll be seeing the next part of the Final Fantasy VII remake? No. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> ouch! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we might see it, but I, I wouldn't... I don't I wouldn't think, care I don't think we do. so. I don't, no. I don't think so. But the thing is, I think there's like... There's enough space for a lot of surprises. 
Because, like, if we flash back to E3... Oh, God. Aren't they flashback also working on the, the Final Fantasy... Fan oh, the ghost craft. Aren't they also working on a weird Final Fantasy game where it's like, we have to kill chaos. I mean, they are technically working on that. The next part of Final Fantasy VII Remake and Final Fantasy XVI. I do believe we'll be seeing some Final Fantasy news. Yeah, I mean, there's always a chance. Maybe they're going to show more of that stupid game, though, where nobody's really excited for. Love stupid games. The fucking... The, the edgy Final Fantasy game. That oh, nobody was really edgy. excited for. Yeah, the guy so that was edge, whining about killing... I'm going to kill Chaos. It just basically sounded like the fucking... Uh, like, fucking Sora grew up and, and became an edgy teenager. Instead of like a... Oh boy, I'm going to play with my friends! Oh you know? boy! That type of shit. So yeah, oh. I mean, just basically. Yeah, I, I oh. think there's just going to be a lot of stuff I don't think we know exists there. I agree. I mean, it would be cool to see some new IPs, though. That would be definitely good. That has been I, part I just, of. Oh, Dead Space. I think Dead Space might be there. I've just Ooh. um looked up game award leaks or for, or reveals and stuff. There's three that I've found. So there's a Monster Hunter leak apparently. Oh, well, board. What? Fucking, what? Um, there's one for The Legend of Zelda. Mm. Possible. Oh my god. Link's Breath of the Wild? Link's Breath Too Wild. It's it's like Too, <laughs> too Breath Too Wild. Too Breath Too Wild. God, I bet Kirby really... Too Wild Too Brief. Jeez. Yeah, K Kirby's just a, a playable character. In <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, the other one is Big PS5 reveals. Good. The PS5 needs some fucking reveals, because I'll tell you what. Mm. Apart from Horizon coming out in February, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know of any games that I care for that are coming to PS5, other than Horizon, which is also coming to P PC. I mean, if I could get... If I would buy a PlayStation 5, it would be like... Th there's, a, there's a couple games that I'd want to play on and PS5. And, and then, uh, yeah, like we said... Ratchet and Flank. Horizon. There's a couple of games that I'd want to play on PS5, but there's not any that are coming out that I know of that I'd care for. Look, there's not much motivation for future-proofing for the PS5. That's true, so, true. I, so it would be best if they do something with that. Unless they want to put it at their stupid state of place. Uh, oh yeah, but God. those state of place have been awful. Uh, <laughs> so maybe, maybe they'll... Isn't Sony maybe they'll... still doing one more event this year that's not a state of place? Um, I, uh, that we're aware of. I don't know. There's there's also rumors of Hellblade two being at the Game Awards. Hmm. Hellblade. Could be interesting. Which it would be nice to see more of Hellblade two. I feel like we could also see more of like when it comes to God of War, maybe. I mean, all those games that are anticipated, like, could they just also be there because there's gonna be something about True. them? I mean, I just think of that now. Isn't that a possibility? That they very, have the very much so. That they have the anticipated category just there so they can show the trailers for the games and just be like, hey, here we have these games. Here's some more uh, some more Horizon. Even though we've seen a lot of Horizon, I don't necessarily need to see more. I mean, I could just I could just give my money uh, if I had a PlayStation 5, that, that would be. Uh, and then um, there, uh, God of War was in that list. What else was in that list? Oh, Elden Ring. I mean, we've seen something that could probably show some more of that. And like, I feel like, like we said, like on the uh, Jeff Keighley Variety Hour at uh, at E3, um, he had the exclusive for for that uh, Elden Ring footage. So I guess it could be that they show some more of it. Because do we actually do we already know what kind of game is it? Like, do we know if it's like a Souls like or if it's its own thing? Like more. That is more Souls like. What? It is more Souls like. Uh, which uh, game is this? Sorry. Um, Elden Ring. Ah. Yeah, I was going to say we might see more uh, stuff for Elden Ring, actually. Well, probably, because it's out February. What Is else it? was in that category for, like, most MP uh, uh, MP pieces? Oh, God. Bram, I've closed the tab. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, whatever. Uh, well, those games could potentially just be there. Let's just say that. And then maybe we'll get some nice, uh, yeah, like we said, PS5 uh, surprise uh Exclusives or something. That would be great. Great job, everyone. Good job. Well, we did it. We survived another predict. Woo! Well, 
And then we still have to watch this shit and then uh, give our oh thoughts. Oh my god. Fuck.